Part 6. Everything that had happened today hit them both hard. They learned about a spatial rift that could lead to another world, as well as the mysterious Yang God race. They also learned about a Grand Master Realm spiritual body that could leave its physical body for a long time. There was also Wang Yi's terrifying strength that allowed him to instantly kill a rank 9 Grand Master with a wave of his hand. Even his pet was actually a rank 9 Beastmaster. All of these were constantly challenging their already fragile nerves. After a long while, Fang Ming's recovered from his shock. He looked at the silver-winged cloud leopard, which was lying lazily on the ground not far from him and was pretending to be dead. Subconsciously, he moved to the side. He could not be blamed for being timid. Who knew that a harmless little pet was actually a rank 9 beast king? He could not apply common sense to it. Seeing that Fang Ming's was a little embarrassed, Wang Yi smiled and said, Don't be afraid. It's fine, my pet is still very docile. Then, he shouted to the silver-winged cloud leopard, Little Silver, come, meow for us. The silver-winged cloud leopard stiffened visibly, feeling a little lost. Little Silver, when did it get such a shameful name? However, it was Wang Yi who shouted. After weighing the pros and cons in its heart, its fear finally won over its shame. Wearily, it climbed to its feet, wagged its tail, and meowed at Fang Ming's and Tang Zhenyu. Meow. Then, it rolled its eyes and pretended to be dead on the ground again. It felt bitter in its heart. A dignified rank 9 beast king actually had to meow like a cat. However, the two of them subconsciously took a step back. Although the silver-winged cloud leopard was cute just now, the terrifying scene from before was still vivid in their minds. Meanwhile, Wang Yi shook his head helplessly and ignored their reactions. Fang Ming stayed where he was for a long time. He hesitated and wanted to speak, but stopped. In the end, he gritted his teeth and said, Sir. However, before Fang Ming's could continue, Wang Yi waved his hand and interrupted him. I know your concerns. If you find any traces of the other three experts from the Yang God race causing trouble, just inform me. I'll help you deal with them. Wang Yi knew very well what Fang Ming's wanted to say. After all, hidden enemies were the most terrifying. Furthermore, one of them had the combat strength of a Grand Master. If not for him, the strongest person in Kang City would only be Fang Yuan, who was also a Grand Master. The two of them were still evenly matched in terms of top combat strength. If Wang Yi had to search for the Yang God race himself, it would be like looking for a needle in a haystack. He might not even be willing to do so as that would be a waste of time. However, if he discovered the other party's whereabouts, there would be no problem for him to take action. After all, the experts of the Yang God race regarded humans as cultivation resources. As a human, Wang Yi was still very willing to teach the Yang God race how to behave. Meanwhile, Fang Ming's did not expect Wang Yi to be so direct. He also did not expect that Wang Yi was willing to take action. His previous hesitation almost instantly disappeared, and his face was filled with endless ecstasy. In the beginning, he only wanted to invite Wang Yi to take action at the critical moment as a backup plan. However, he did not anticipate this unexpected surprise. Tang Zhenyu's face was also filled with excitement. He could not help but wave his fists fiercely. He was more far-sighted than Fang Ming's. Wang Yi's promise to help this time did not just involve the current crisis. It also meant that currently, Kang City now had a peerless expert who was far stronger than a rank 9 Grand Master backing it. Since the Yang God race could descend through a spatial rift, it was definitely not just these few beings who would descend sooner or later. After all, to them, humans were as important as martial arts resources to martial artists. Thus, the Yang God race would definitely not give up on invading the human race so easily. The disaster would only begin when they launched a large-scale invasion. At that time, with such an existence backing Kang City, the city would truly be safe. However, Wang Yi did not know what Tang Zhenyu was thinking. Otherwise, he would definitely beat him up first. After all, Tang Zhenyu was really scheming. He was like a honeycomb that was full of holes. After casually dusting off the non-existent dust on his body, Wang Yi smiled and said, It's been hard on the two of you to follow me around for so long. Stay for a meal later. As soon as Wang Yi finished speaking, Fang Ming subconsciously wiped the corner of his mouth and felt that he was about to drool. He couldn't help but think of the beast court that Wang Yi had made at the Turing Dojo. Not only did it help him increase his strength to the peak of RANK3, but it also tasted amazing. It was still fresh in his memory. Fang Ming's couldn't help but look nostalgic. Then, he said, 
Then I'll have to trouble you, sir. I'm in for a treat. This is a small matter. Grandmaster Wong, you're too polite. We won't disturb you after this. The two of them spoke almost at the same time. Tang Zhenyu could not help but be stunned. He felt a little strange. Could Fang Ming's not tell that Wang Yi was just being polite? Meanwhile, upon hearing Tang Zhenyu's words, Fang Ming's became a little anxious. He subconsciously tugged at Tang Zhenyu's sleeve and whispered, Uncle Tang, stay for dinner. Otherwise, you'll definitely regret it. As the old saying went, old men were cunning. Although Tang Zhenyu did not understand, he knew that Fang Ming's would not harm him. Without any embarrassment, he changed his words and said, in that case, I'll have to trouble Grandmaster Wang. Wang Yi saw what they were doing, but he didn't care. Then, he walked toward the kitchen. After Wang Yi left, Tang Zhenyu asked carefully, Mings, can't you tell that Grandmaster Wang was just being polite? Why did you ask me to stay for dinner? However, Fang Mings chuckled and said, Uncle Tang, you'll know in a while. It'll definitely make your trip worth it. During this period, the two of them went to the kitchen and requested to help Wang Yi, but Wang Yi chased them out. In the living room of the villa, on a coffee table that was completely carved from expensive jade were a few hot dishes. The three of them sat on the sofa around the table. In the past, in order to help Fang Ming's increase his strength, cooking had been very demanding. However, there were fewer requirements this time. Wang Yi simply cooked a few dishes. Although it was said to be simple, the materials used were still extremely expensive, and the cooking methods were unparalleled. For example, one of the roasted steaks was made of meat from peak ranked six beasts. Meanwhile, the meat of the rock horn bull and the materials for the marinade was even more precious. The two of them almost bit off their tongues while eating this meal. Tang Zhenyu finally understood what Fang Ming's meant when he said that he would definitely regret not making this trip. He also finally understood why Fang Ming's could tell that Wang Yi was just being polite, but still shamelessly stayed for dinner. Tang Zhenyu was also a person of high status and had tasted all kinds of delicacies. However, he had never thought that a dish could be so delicious. Moreover, not only were the dishes delicious, but they also contained a huge amount of spiritual energy. They actually caused a fluctuation in Tang Zhenyu's realm, which was already at the peak of RANK 6. Although this was the second time Fang Ming's had eaten Wang Yi's dishes, he was not much better than Tang Zhenyu. For a moment, the two of them did not care if they were rude or not. They basically swept the dishes away like a whirlwind. Even after all the dishes had been eaten, the two of them still looked hungry. Wang Yi found it funny when he looked at the two of them. However, since they had said that they were treating, he naturally had to let the guests eat their fill. Then, he made a few more dishes again. The process was repeated a few times. Only then did the two of them lean back on the sofa and belch continuously. They rubbed their already bloated stomachs and looked longingly at the unfinished dishes on the coffee table. Wang Yi was also helpless. He did not expect to meet these two useless people. Why didn't he realize that Fang Ming's had such a side to him? Forget it, you guys pack the dishes up and take them with you. Don't forget to wash the plates. The two of them immediately beamed with joy and had no intention of being polite. With lightning speed, they instantly cleaned up the dishes on the coffee table. As he looked at the two of them, Wang Yi's thoughts started to run wild. It was boring to bury his head in cultivation all day. Why not just start a business? He would have something else to do and also earn some extra money. After the two of them left, Wang Yi observed his new home seriously. At the same time, he revealed his nature as a plebeian. After all, it hadn't been long since he transmigrated. He was very excited to have such a mansion for the first time. He looked around and felt that everything was very new. This stream is boring. Wang Yi came to the stream that surrounded the entire courtyard and muttered to himself. Then, with a wave of his hand, the clear stream instantly disappeared. Only a few fish were left churning and swaying at the bottom of the stream. They wondered why the stream had suddenly disappeared. At the next moment, Wang Yi waved his hand again. A stream of spring water suddenly appeared from the void. It was surrounded by extremely dense spiritual energy and instantly surged toward the stream. In just a moment, the stream was filled again. It was misty and foggy, like a paradise on earth. For some reason, the fish found that the water had suddenly returned. The fish only cared about swimming happily, but they were much more cheerful than before. Wang Yi looked at his handiwork and nodded in satisfaction. He had collected this spirit spring when he left the city previously and stored it all in the system space. 
it was quite good to use it here. As for the remaining plants and trees, Wang Yi shook his head. They were a little lacking. However, he did not have much stock on hand. It seemed that he really had to make time to go to the city again and buy some goods to renovate his new home. After a long time, Wang Yi finally got over the feeling of novelty. In the bedroom, Wang Yi sat cross-legged and activated all three cultivation techniques at the same time. Strange phenomena constantly appeared around him. Nine great suns hung in the air, three colored flying sabers slashed the sky and cracked the earth, and twelve dragon elephants protected his body. All kinds of phenomena surrounded him. The phenomena continuously transformed into various states as he breathed as if he was a peerless immortal demon. Suddenly, Wang Yi opened his eyes. Two beams of divine light shot out from his pupils as if they wanted to pierce through the void in front of him. Sigh, a sigh came from Wang Yi. What a pity, I was so close. Otherwise, the Nine Suns Divine Art and the Little Li Flying Dagger technique would have advanced to level ill. At this moment, Wang Yi suddenly stood up with a depressed expression. Ever since Fang Ming's and Tang Zhen Yu left, he had been in seclusion in the villa for three consecutive days. He thought that he would be able to break through today, but he did not expect to be stuck. How could he not be depressed? Glancing at the clock on the wall, he realized that it was past midnight. Wang Yi could not help but say, System, I want to sign in. Ding, signed in successfully. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a technological item, Skynet. Then, a pure gold card appeared in the system space. Exclamation mark. With a thought, the golden card instantly appeared in Wang Yi's hand. It was unknown what the card was made of. It was neither gold nor jade, but it was abnormally strong. Dense spider web-like lines that intersected each other were carved on the card. There was a diamond-like dot on each of the intersecting nodes. Wang Yi was really speechless. He had thought that there was a high chance that the check in reward this time would be pills. However, he didn't expect the system to give him such a thing. Whether it was the Lu Maoxing Peak Cooking Card, or the subsidiary Battle Pet System, it was at least related to martial arts. However, what the hell was this technological item, Skynet? Could it help him cultivate? Wang Yi felt really helpless about this system. Why was such a good system so indecent? It was fine if it was indecent. However, it was also useless at naming things. In the past few days of seclusion, the pills obtained from signing in were basically exclusive to the three cultivation techniques. As for the names of the pills given by the system, Wang Yi was speechless. The exclusive pill of the Dragon Elephant Wisdom technique was called the Dragon Elephant Pill. It sounded pretty good. Meanwhile, the exclusive pill of the Nine Suns Divine Art technique was called the Nine Suns Pill. This was also acceptable. However, the exclusive pill of the Little Li Flying Dagger technique was called Little Li Pill. That was a little too much. Did the system name the pills based on the first two words of the technique? Regardless of how much he ridiculed the system, Wang Yi still checked this so-called technological item seriously. In any case, this was a sign in reward. It would be a pity to waste it. It was fine if he did not look at it, but when he did, Wang Yi was really shocked. Holy shit, do you have to be so sick? The functions of Skynet were extremely simple, yet extremely complicated. Inside the golden Skynet card were countless satellites. After choosing to use Skynet, all the satellites would surround the entire planet and instantly establish a communication network that enveloped the entire world. Then, the satellites would disappear into a dark space. Unless one could reach the level where they could shatter space, no one could discover or destroy the satellites. It had to be known that this was the era of giant cities. The endless wilderness was occupied by dire beasts, so it was impossible to build a base station. Thus, the internet and communication systems only supported the giant city they were located in. Unless a super powerhouse was willing to pay a certain price, there was no way to contact other giant cities. Furthermore, this planet was tens of thousands of times larger than Earth from his previous life. However, Skynet could cover the entire planet and achieve global communication. It could be seen just how terrifying it was. This thing was especially simple to use. It could be activated as long as one gently touched it with their spiritual power. However, it was also very complicated. After activating it, connecting Skynet to the various giant cities, operating Skynet, and ensuring that others would agree to its use were all very troublesome questions. If these could be resolved, then the money he needed to upgrade the system would be settled. After all, such a thing was definitely revolutionary for this world. Most importantly, there was no competition at all. 
He could set the price however he wanted. He could completely monopolize this industry. Could it be that the system saw that I couldn't gather 10 billion and couldn't level up, so it opened a back door for me? Wang Yi couldn't help but think about this possibility. Sigh, what a pity. The item is good, but I just can't use it. Wang Yi sighed helplessly as he casually placed the golden card back into the system space. Skynet was equivalent to a strengthened communication company. As long as it was activated, it would require special people to maintain and operate it. Otherwise, it would be no different from scrap metal. Could Wang Yi set up his own company to manage these? Forget it, this was completely a blind spot for his knowledge. Just thinking about it gave Wang Yi a headache. He might as well go and fight beasts. Even if it was a conate demon, he might not be afraid. However, if Wang Yi had to manage a company, he felt that it might be easier to fight a conate demon head on. However, there was a way. The Su family was a business family. As long as the problem regarding Zhao Ti Online was resolved, Wang Yi could hand it over to the Su family to manage. He was confident that it would not take long for him to cultivate all three cultivation techniques to the peak. Then, he would possess the strength to truly match or even kill conate experts. At that time, regardless of whether Zhao Ti Online came or not, he had to beat this fellow to death. He really delayed things too much. After that, Wang Yi no longer had the mood to continue cultivating. He fell onto the bed and fell asleep comfortably. The next morning, a ray of golden sunlight shone through the gap in the curtains and onto Wang Yi's face. Wang Yi got up lazily and washed up before walking into the kitchen to prepare breakfast for himself. With his current strength, he could completely abstain from eating. There was no need for him to rely on food to replenish his energy. However, this was a habit that had been cultivated for decades after all. It could not be changed in a short period of time. Besides, he was unwilling to change it. Eating was a pleasure for him. Only gods, not people, would be able to push away all kinds of desires. However, Wang Yi was unwilling to be an immortal god who lived as a chi eater. That way, he would have less fun as a human. His breakfast was a simple affair with a poached egg, a glass of juice, and a steak. However, the ingredients used were extremely precious. After breakfast, Wang Yi went straight to the courtyard. He had replaced a chair beside the ancient tree where he had killed Heo and Ting Kong yesterday. There was also a small table beside it. After using the boiling spiritual spring water to brew a pot of tea leaves left behind by the previous owner, Wang Yi lay comfortably on the rocking chair and tasted the freshly brewed tea. He watched as the fish chased one another and played in the stream. He was not used to this lifestyle. In his previous life, he had been busy and had a fast-paced life. Thus, he enjoyed this quiet life. This tea doesn't taste very good. Wang Yi smacked his lips and sighed, feeling a little disappointed. It seemed that the previous owner was not someone who liked to drink tea. That was right, what was that person called, Tang Yu? At this moment, Wang Yi suddenly thought of Tang Zhen Yu. Didn't he say that he had some treasured tea leaves to deliver? Why hadn't they arrived yet after a few days? Wang Yi could not help but shake his head. That fellow was not honest. If Tang Zhen Yu knew what Wang Yi was thinking, he would definitely cry out in grievance. After all, he didn't do it on purpose. After the two of them left the villa that day, Fang Ming's did not return to the guardian's residence. Instead, he went straight to the Department of Finance with Tang Zhen Yu. On the way, Fang Ming's even mysteriously told Tang Zhen Yu that there was a huge opportunity. Fang Ming's didn't say what great opportunity it was until the two of them returned to the Department of Finance. Then, Fang Ming's silently wrote a passage and handed it to Tang Zhen Yu before saying, Uncle Tang, Sir asked me to pass this on to you. It was only when Tang Zhen Yu finished reading all the content that he finally knew what a great opportunity it was. The words written on the paper were actually a cultivation technique, or rather, a portion of a cultivation technique. Although this technique did not use the same system as what they used to cultivate, according to the description, he could actually cultivate Tru Chi at the battle soldier rank. One had to know that Tru Chi was the symbol of the battle warrior rank. However, as Tang Zhen Yu cultivated, he became more and more engrossed. He actually vaguely touched the threshold of the Grand Master Realm. For the sake of that dream realm, he was currently cultivating in seclusion. Otherwise, with his shrewdness and experience, how could he go back on his word against an expert, whose strength far exceeded a rank 9 Grand Master, and stop doing his work? However, this was also hard on Fang Ming's. Originally, 
he was going to hand the official business to Tang Zhenyu on behalf of Fang Yuan and let Tang Zhenyu temporarily take charge of the situation in Kang City. Unexpectedly, during the trip, not only did he hand over his work, but he also took over Tang Zhenyu's job. Of course, Wang Yi did not know about this. He was leisurely drinking tea and sunbathing. Hit him, hit him hard, how dare he dirty young Master Zheng's clothes and cripple him. Wang Yi frowned slightly, feeling a little unhappy. The commotion outside the courtyard had completely disturbed him. He enjoyed the peace and quiet. Damn, could this be another show of an evil young master bullying others? This was too old-fashioned. However, since Wang Yi was no longer in the mood to enjoy himself, he did not mind watching the show. After all, it was human nature to like to watch the commotion. Wang Yi stood up and walked straight out of the courtyard. On the road, a person in ragged clothes lay on the ground. There was no life in their eyes. Their dry and messy long hair was tied up messily on the top of their head, and their face was covered in black mud. It was impossible to see their exact appearance, and it was also impossible to tell if this person was a man or a woman. Meanwhile, this person was surrounded by a group of burly men who were punching and kicking them. Beside them stood a punkish young man with a row of piercings in his ears and dazzling accessories. At this moment, he was crossing his arms and looking like he was watching a show. However, the words he shouted made people feel cold all over. Fight, fight to the death, I'll be responsible if someone dies. The group surrounding the beggar became even more brazen when they heard the words of the punkish young man. You're unlucky today, try to reincarnate well in your next life. Don't provoke anyone you shouldn't. As the beggar on the ground was being beaten up, the surrounding crowd of onlookers kept pointing at the scene. Is there any justice in this world? Aren't these people too ruthless? If they continue fighting, someone will die. Shish, don't talk nonsense. Do you know who is fighting? That's the second young master of the Zheng family. If he hears you, you won't have a good time. Among the crowd of onlookers, someone suddenly covered his companion's mouth and carefully looked around while speaking. The other person seemed to know how notorious the second young master of the Zheng family was. He could not help but be shocked. Then, he shrank his neck and hurriedly squeezed out of the crowd. Meanwhile, Wang Yi stared at the beggar on the ground and a strange smile suddenly appeared on his face. What a coincidence. At this moment, the beggar, who was being beaten up, gradually regained their vigor. Looking at the people around them who were attacking them, a cold glint flashed across their eyes, and killing intent surged from their body. Unfortunately, in the next moment, the killing intent on the beggar's body completely dissipated, and the light in their eyes was concealed. However, the beggar still used both arms to protect their head and let the others beat them up. Wang Yi, who was already disturbed, naturally did not have a good impression of the attackers. Hey, that's enough, do you really want to beat him to death? Wang Yi walked closer and smiled at the young punk as he spoke. Damn, how dare you meddle in our business? You're tired of living, aren't you? Among the people surrounding the beggar, a burly man who was at least two meters tall suddenly walked out. He stared down at Wang Yi and asked fiercely. Wang Yi had stood up and stopped them because he wanted to cause trouble. Naturally, he would not reason with them. The moment the burly man walked out, he was sent flying with a kick. He crossed the road, which was dozens of meters wide, and fell to the ground. He spat out a mouthful of blood and fainted. Of course, Wang Yi didn't use much strength. Otherwise, the other party wouldn't have simply vomited blood and fainted. He might have directly turned into dust and even his corpse wouldn't have been left behind. Meanwhile, the surrounding people were instantly shocked by Wang Yi's sudden attack. Even the beggar on the ground could not help but look at him. His gaze was a little distant, and it was unknown what he was thinking. The young punk also froze in place, his heart pounding uncontrollably. The burly man who was kicked away was the bodyguard his mother had personally assigned to him in fear that her son would encounter danger. The bodyguard was a powerful rank two martial artist. However, such an existence did not even have the strength to resist before being kicked unconscious. How terrifying was the strength of the person who kicked him? Although he, the second young master of the Zheng family, was used to being arrogant, he was not stupid. In the past, he had only bullied ordinary people without any background. He would never offend anyone with a good background and great strength. Moreover, Wang Yi was clearly not an ordinary person. Stop, the second young master of the Zheng family suddenly shouted and stopped the people who were still beating the beggar. Then, he cupped his hands at Wang Yi and said, my subordinates are insensible. 
Please forgive them. Since you say so, I must give you some face. Let's go. As soon as he finished speaking, the second young master of the Zheng family waved his hand and left with his subordinates. He did not even say a word. As they left, the surrounding crowd dispersed, leaving only the beggar on the ground and Wang Yi. Wang Yi almost spat out a mouthful of blood. Where was the rich family who bullied others? Where was the evil young master? He was prepared to wait for the other party to say something ruthless and teach him a lesson. Why did he admit defeat so easily? It felt as if he had punched the air with all his might. However, he only hit the air and almost affected his old waist. As he watched the dejected crowd leave, Wang Yi took a deep breath and felt very helpless. He really did not expect the other party to instantly cower. What about chasing after them again and hammering them? He could not do that. It was simply too embarrassing. However, in the next moment, a strange smile suddenly reappeared on Wang Yi's face. He was not prepared to find trouble with them, but someone might not want to let them off so easily. Wang Yi said calmly to the beggar lying on the ground. All right, stop pretending, they're already gone. However, the beggar on the ground suddenly felt a chill in their heart. A murderous glint flashed in the corner of their eye. Has the beggar been discovered? Wang Yi found it a little funny. He came to the beggar's side and said with a smile, No matter what, I was the one who saved you just now. It's not good for you to kill me to silence me. Besides, in your current state, it's probably difficult for you to even kill an ordinary person, don't you think? Hua Changyan. That was right. The beggar in ragged clothes and a face full of black mud, whose gender was indiscernible and was being beaten up, was actually Hua Changyan. When Wang Yi first came here, he had sensed that there was a huge power hidden in the beggar's body that was at least equivalent to a ranked six martial artist. However, that power seemed to be suppressed by another mysterious power. Thus, it appeared extremely obscure. This was also because Wang Yi was strong enough. If it were anyone else, they might not have been able to discover him. Wang Yi never expected that this would happen. A few days ago, when he heard about the news in the taxi, he felt that it was a pity. Now, he had actually met the person herself. Meanwhile, panic flashed in the beggar's eyes, and her heart shook wildly. Oh no, someone had really found out her identity. The other party was right. She was indeed in a terrible state. After being injured by Zhang Tianlin's heaven imprisoning finger, most of her strength was restricted by the power of the heaven imprisoning finger. It was already an overestimation to say that she had less than 1% of her strength left. She would have to pray that she would be able to maintain her mobility, let alone kill others. In order to avoid the bounty, she deliberately disguised herself as a beggar. However, the power of the heaven imprisoning finger activated more and more frequently. Previously, it was because the heaven imprisoning finger had activated and imprisoned her will that her true chi and body became muddled. Before Wang Yi attacked, she had just broken free from the confinement of the heaven imprisoning finger and regained her consciousness. As for what had happened previously, she was not very sure. She did not know how she had offended that evil young master and was beaten up. She could not help but grit her teeth at the thought of the evil young master. She thought, hmm, sooner or later, I'll make him pay. However, that was a story for another time. The most important thing now was how to save her life and get through this difficult time. No matter what, Hua Chengyun was a peerless genius who had broken through to the RANK-6 at a young age and became a peak-level warrior. How could she be the kind of person who would sit and wait for death? She was naturally unwilling to be captured and become someone else's bargaining chip in exchange for the bounty. Although Hua Chengyun no longer had any combat strength at this moment, she still took a starting stance and stared at Wang Yi warily. Even if the other party had saved her just now, no one could guarantee that he wasn't trying to distract everyone and capture her alone. Therefore, she naturally did not dare to let her guard down. Seeing that the other party was still on guard, Wang Yi could not help but say helplessly, Come on, stop putting on such airs. In your current state, a child could hammer you over. Who are you guarding against? However, even after Wang Yi said this, Hua Changyun remained indifferent. She didn't say anything and just stared at him nervously. Wang Yi was really speechless. It was really not that easy to be a good person. Then, he sighed and thought, fine. You think I want to catch you and get a reward, right? Then I'll let you see how I'll catch you. At the thought of this, Wang Yi found it interesting and wanted to tease her. His voice was fierce as he tried to scare the other party. You're smart. You saw through me. In that case, I won't hold back. After saying that, 
Wang Yi pretended to pounce on her as if he wanted to capture her alive. You really came for the reward, hmm, why don't you keep up the pretense? As expected, seeing that Wang Yi was about to attack, Hua Chengyan, who had always been silent, finally spoke. Her voice was very cold, but it was also slightly hoarse. Her voice was dry as if she had not drank water in a long time. How about we make a deal? Aren't you here for the bounty? I have a high-level secret manual here. If you let me go, I'll give it to you. However, Wang Yi shook his head. This girl must have gone crazy from being hunted down. He could not help but tease her. I'll just take you down and exchange you for a top-notch secret manual from the Tianzuo Daoist Temple. Why should I make a deal with you? Besides, after I take you down, won't the high-level secret manual on you be mine? Upon hearing Wang Yi's words, Hua Chengyun couldn't help but tremble. She gritted her teeth and glared at Wang Yi. It was as if the anger in her eyes was going to burn him to ashes. Don't even think about it. If you dare to do that, I'll tell the people of Tianzuo Daoist Temple that I've already leaked all the secret techniques of the Daoist Temple to you. Let's see if they'll chase after you. Wang Yi was suddenly stunned. This girl was not stupid. She even knew how to threaten people. However, he was not interested and continued to scare Hua Changyun. He waved his hand and said, Leave. You're really not here to capture me. Hua Changyun was still in disbelief. Someone could actually resist the temptation of a top-notch secret manual. Wang Yi couldn't be bothered to explain. His spiritual power vibrated slightly. Then, a golden saber beam with endless killing intent appeared above his head. It kept rising and falling, descending with thousands of golden saber beams. Is that a manifestation of the spirit? When Hua Changyun saw the golden saber light above Wang Yi's head, she couldn't help but cry out. At the same time, her heart was in turmoil. What did she just see? That was the manifestation of the spirit. This was one of the two symbols of a rank 9 Grand Master, the other being the ability to control the world with one spirit. Hua Changyun's eyes were filled with disbelief. This was too crazy. The young man in front of her, who had been smiling and didn't seem to be that powerful, was actually a rank 9 Grand Master. How was this possible? However, she also believed that he was definitely not here to capture her. What a joke. This was a rank 9 Grand Master, a true top level existence. Even if he simply stomped his feet, the entire Langya County would be shaken. Putting Zong Tianline aside, even if the guardian of Tianzuo City personally came to look for this person, whether he gave the guardian face or not would depend on his mood. How could he especially come to capture her just because of a mere bounty from the Tianzuo Daoist Temple? That would be too degrading. In short, she was not worthy. She, Hua Changqing, was not worthy. Tianzuo Daoist Temple was not worthy. Zhang Tianlin was not worthy either. To be able to get an expert of this level to personally take action, one had to either offer a huge favor or an extremely precious martial arts treasure. Furthermore, only a martial arts treasure that could increase one's chances of breaking through to the Konate realm could move a rank 9 Grand Master. However, the Tianzuo Daoist Temple had no such treasure. Even if they did, they would probably have hidden it long ago in fear that someone would know about it. Thus, how could they bear to use it as a reward? When she thought about this, Hua Chengyun knelt down and pressed her head against the ground. She said gratefully, I thank you for saving my life. Please forgive me for my disrespect. However, at the same time, she was a little puzzled. No matter what, a rank 9 Grand Master would be in existence that was famous in Langya County. Although she had no right to personally meet such a big shot, she would have seen photos of him. However, she had no impression of Wang Yi at all. Moreover, in the entire Langya County, there had never been such a young rank 9 Grand Master. Meanwhile, when he saw Hua Changyun kneeling there, Wang Yi waved his hand and a wave of peaceful true qi suddenly appeared, lifting Hua Changyun up. Then, he chuckled and said, there's no need to thank me. I didn't come specially to save you. It's just that evil young master and his subordinates interrupted my mood. I wanted to teach him a lesson, but I didn't expect that the evil young man would run away without even saying anything. That made it difficult for me to attack. Just as he finished speaking. Beside him, Hua Changyun shook her head stubbornly. No matter what your intentions were, sir, you did save my life. Perhaps you won't care about a small fry like me, but if I can escape this predicament, I will definitely repay you for saving my life. Although Hua Changyun's face was covered in mud and it was impossible to see her face clearly, Wang Yi could see that she was stubborn and serious. Wang Yi shook his head and didn't take it to heart. To begin with, 
he hadn't stepped in to receive a reward from Hua Chengyin. Besides, what could a mere martial artist at the battle warrior rank repay him with? Would she repay him by offering her body to him? Forget it, furthermore, he still had someone he cared about in the Su family. He simply didn't know how to face his cheap wife, Su Xia. Furthermore, after seeing Hua Chengyin in her current state, even though Wang Yi wasn't someone who placed great emphasis on looks, he probably could not bring himself to do anything to her in the future. Ignoring Hua Chengyin's attitude, Wang Yi casually waved his hand and said, All right, leave quickly. Be careful not to be discovered again. I can save you once, but I can't save you twice or thrice. Furthermore, you can't be that lucky to meet someone who can save you every time. With that, Wang Yi turned around and prepared to return to the villa. Lord, however, before Wang Yi could take a step, Hua Chengyin's voice sounded from behind him. Wang Yi turned around and asked suspiciously, is there anything else? Behind him, Hua Chengyin looked a little hesitant, not knowing how to speak for a moment. When Wang Yi saw this, he could not help but smile and say, if there's anything, just say it. As if she had made up her mind, Hua Chengyin stopped hesitating and said, there's something I don't quite understand. Can I ask you, sir? Wang Yi did not have anything to do now, so he did not mind wasting some time here. Thus, he asked, if there's anything you don't understand, just ask. But let's be clear, I might not know. Seeing that Wang Yi had agreed, Hua Chengyin was delighted. Without further ado, she went straight to the point. I want to ask, how did you discover my identity? My strength is low, since my strength is sealed, I'm no different from ordinary people. Furthermore, with my current outfit, most people wouldn't even notice me. Hua Chengyin was indeed very concerned about this. After all, she was still a wanted person and her strength had been sealed. Her disguise had also been seen through at a glance. Thus, if she did not get to the bottom of this matter, she might as well find a place to rest and wait for others to capture her and receive their reward. It would save her the trouble of escaping everywhere. After hearing this, Wang Yi could not help but feel a little surprised. He also thought highly of Hua Chengyin. He saw the indecisive look on her face and thought she would beg him to shelter her. However, he did not expect her to be concerned about this. However, this was not a secret. Thus, Wang Yi smiled and explained. You don't have to worry about that. Ordinary people below rank 9 won't be able to discover you. It's a coincidence that I recognized you. A few days ago, I happened to hear a piece of news. I learned that the Tianzuo Taoist Temple put a bounty on you. It was also said that you fled to the 13 southwest cities of Langyu County. Furthermore, there are only a few ranked 6 experts in Kang City. Then, you, a ranked 6 expert whose strength has been sealed, suddenly appeared. I'm afraid as long as I'm not stupid, there's no reason that I won't be able to guess your identity, right? After hearing this, Hua Chengyin suddenly heaved a sigh of relief. It was good that there was nothing wrong with her. As for the fact that those who were at rank 9 and above could discover her, it didn't matter. Who cared, if a rank 9 expert really came to capture her, she would be very proud. Even if she died, she had the right to say that she had died at the hands of a rank 9 grandmaster. The doubts in her heart had been resolved, and she no longer had anything to worry about. Thus, Hua Chengyin bowed deeply to Wang Yi again and said gratefully, Thank you for teaching me, Lord. If I... Hua Chengyin, I'm still alive in the future, I will definitely repay your kindness. After saying that, she was prepared to leave. At this moment, a portion of her physical strength and true chi had already broken free from the imprisonment of the heaven imprisoning finger. As such, she had a certain amount of strength to protect herself. Then, as if she suddenly thought of something, she said again, I will definitely teach that evil young master a lesson. Wang Yi couldn't help but laugh. This girl was really vengeful but she was quite sensible. Sigh, a sigh reached Hua Chengyin's ears. Wang Yi's expression was calm as he said leisurely, it's fate that we met. I'll be a good person until the end. As soon as he finished speaking, Wang Yi suddenly grabbed Hua Chengyin. Then, something that looked like a black cage floated out of her body. After that, the black cage flashed and instantly appeared in Wang Yi's hand. As Wang Yi played with the black cage, he could sense a very powerful seal. He raised his eyebrows slightly. This should have been formed by the heaven imprisoning finger, right? A. Wang Yi suddenly exclaimed softly. It was no wonder Hua Chengyin was not completely imprisoned by the heaven imprisoning finger. This made sense. It turned out that the black cage was not complete. 
One of the corners was already damaged. I have to study this carefully. Wang Yi muttered to himself. Then, in a flash, he disappeared. It seemed that he could not underestimate the martial arts of this world. There must be something extraordinary about him for him to be able to develop to this point. Meanwhile, at this moment, Hua Chengyan's mouth was wide open in shock. She felt like she was in a dream, and her heart was filled with disbelief. The heaven imprisoning finger that had troubled her for days and tortured her was actually broken so easily. She felt that the seal in her body had completely disappeared and was enjoying the powerful strength that she had regained. Hua Changqing was actually a little intoxicated. It took her a while to react. When she looked up again, she realized that Wang Yi was no longer there. She didn't know what exactly she was feeling. There was excitement, ecstasy, and confusion. Finally, she let out a long sigh. Then, she bowed gently in the direction where Wang Yi had disappeared, turned around, and disappeared at the end of the street. Wang Yi returned to his villa and lay down on the rocking chair again. He kept playing with the black cage in his hand. He was also clicking his tongue in wonder. This little thing was quite interesting. The entire cage was actually constructed from three kinds of forces, spiritual power, physical strength, and true qi. Furthermore, the three forces seemed to have been arranged in some special way, forming an absolute balance. This made the black cage extremely stable. As long as one was hit by this black cage, the three forces contained in it would completely imprison the target. This was just like how Hua Chengyan's will, body, and true qi had been imprisoned by the black cage. Fortunately for her, the attacker must have been too far away. In the process of attacking her, the black cage was damaged. This allowed her to occasionally maintain a portion of her strength and consciousness. Of course, after his attack, Hua Chengyan had no problems now. Wang Yi liked this method of the heaven imprisoning finger. However, after studying it for a long time, he could not figure it out. It would be very difficult for a person to figure out the special arrangement of the three forces in a short period of time without any guidance. However, Wang Yi did not care much about it. He still had time. At most, he would take apart this black cage and study it slowly. He did not believe that this little thing could stump him. After putting away the black cage, Wang Yi stood up and walked out. After living a fast life for more than 20 years in his previous life, he was more or less an impatient person. Previously, he had an idea to open a restaurant and find something for himself to do. Now that he had time, he was prepared to hurry up and do so. Although Wang Yi had never run a business himself, he had witnessed other business owners. Thus, he still knew some necessary things. Wang Yi first found a renovation company not far from the villa and told them some of his requirements for the renovation. The villa he had bought had a total of three floors. He planned to renovate the first floor into a restaurant, just like the private restaurants in his previous life. As for the upper two floors, he left them for himself. Originally, Wang Yi just wanted to play around and find something for himself to do. After all, there really weren't many customers who could afford to eat at his place. After settling the price with the renovation company, Wang Yi did not bargain with them. He simply paid the full amount and left with the key. In the endless wilderness, this was the second time Wang Yi had left the giant city. Although there were very few existences in the wilderness that could threaten him, the desolation and dead silence in the wilderness always gave him a sense of oppression. Since he was preparing to open his own restaurant, Wang Yi had to put in a lot of effort. He felt that he didn't have enough spiritual food in his system space. Therefore, he thought of coming to the wilderness to buy some ingredients. He also wanted to get some greeneries as part of his plan to replace the existing plants in the villa. However, as he walked in the wilderness, Wang Yi felt that something was amiss. For some reason, the high-level beasts that were originally hidden in the depths of the wilderness had all appeared near the giant cities. It was as if they were looking for something. However, this benefited Wang Yi as he did not have to search everywhere. Not long after he left the city, he had killed countless beasts. Among them, there were many high-level beasts. He had even killed nearly 10 RANK-7 beastmasters. It could be considered a huge harvest. However, Wang Yi could not understand why the beastmasters that were typically rarely seen would gather near the huge city. Along the way, other than beasts, Wang Yi would also collect anything useful. For example, the patch of green knot grass that he had just passed by looked almost the same as ordinary greenery. However, it was a very rare martial arts resource. Through the refinement of a maker, 
it could be refined into a spiritual liquid that could assist people in cultivation. Wang Yi gathered these plants up. He simply had a feeling that if he planted these in his villa, it should look better than the greenery from before. For this reason, he shoveled away the green knot grass along with the soil on the ground. It was not an exaggeration to say that he scraped three feet of soil away. Seeing that there were more and more miscellaneous items and spiritual food in the system space, Wang Yi prepared to return to the city. After all, he felt uncomfortable staying in the wilderness all the time. Eh, hey, what's that? Wang Yi, who was about to turn around and leave, suddenly looked at the distant swamp. His eyes could not help but light up. There was a greedy look in his eyes. An ancient tree more than 10 meters tall stood in the depths of the swamp. The ancient tree was surrounded by a faint light, and there was a very strong spiritual energy fluctuation. The emerald leaves on it were oval-shaped and pointed, making it seem as if countless jades were hanging from the tree. As the wind blew, the jade-like emerald leaves swayed with it. T was very charming. With just a glance, Wang Yi realized that the ancient tree was actually a tea tree. This excited him, he had always been a tea drinker. Unfortunately, until now, he had never tasted tea that satisfied him. Wang Yi had not seen the tea leaves that Tang Zhenyu had promised him before. For this reason, Wang Yi complained in his heart more than once that Tang Zhenyu was unreliable. From the looks of it, the ancient tea tree in front of him was definitely not an ordinary item. Since he had encountered it, Wang Yi was naturally unwilling to let it go so easily. For such an ancient tea tree to be surrounded by such strong spiritual energy fluctuations, it must be guarded by beasts. Moreover, the level of the beasts must not be low. After all, even with his strength, he could feel that the spiritual energy contained in it was extremely dense, let alone ordinary beasts. Wang Yi did not hold back. He simply unleashed his full strength and charged toward the ancient tea tree. Even Wang Yi did not know how strong his current strength was. He only knew that even a rank 9 expert would probably not be able to withstand his attack. It was definitely extremely terrifying. As he unleashed his full strength, various phenomena kept appearing. Nine suns suddenly appeared under Wang Yi's feet and shone brightly. Meanwhile, three flying knives appeared above his head. All of them were filled with saber chi and killing intent. Terrifying saber chi descended and protected him. On both sides of him, there were twelve dragons and twelve elephants. They were constantly roaring at the sky and speeding along with him. Wang Yi was right, there was indeed a beast guarding this ancient tea tree. Moreover, it was extremely powerful. It was a top-notch beast king who had experienced a qualitative change, however, this was useless. The top beast king saw Wang Yi stepping on the vast suns with a divine saber above his head and the terrifying power of the dragon and elephant accompanying him. Without any hesitation, the massive body of the beast king, which was hundreds of meters tall, shot forward like an arrow from a bow. As it ran, it would look back from time to time. Its eyelids twitched and its heart trembled crazily. What the hell was that? It had been staying here obediently, and the treasure it was guarding was about to mature. It did not expect such a thing to appear all of a sudden. However, it felt its heart palpitate when it saw the other party with an expression that wanted to kill. It felt that its life was in danger. Thus, it had no choice but to give up on the treasure that it had guarded for a long time. After all, no matter what kind of treasure it was, it had to be alive to enjoy it. When the top beast king escaped, Wang Yi had already discovered its traces. However, he did not chase after it. After all, there were many top grade beast kings, but such a top grade tea tree was rare. If he had rashly chased after the beast king, there would not have been any danger. Although the endless wilderness was huge, there might not be anyone who could hurt him. He still had this confidence. Instead, he was afraid that this top-notch beast king would have an accomplice. After the beast king lured Wang Yi away by making Wang Yi chase after it, the accomplice would dig up the ancient tea tree. At that time, Wang Yi would have nowhere to cry. Although he was now in an endless swamp, there were also rocks and other things nearby. The ancient tea tree was rooted on a green rock, and that rock was actually a rare, green jade. Rock. Quote, this was a powerful material that could be used to forge Grandmaster Realm weapons. Wang Yi couldn't help but click his tongue. This endless wilderness was really a huge treasure trove. There were countless treasures and divine materials inside. As long as he had enough strength, this huge treasure vault would be like a group of young girls for him to pick from. Coincidentally, Wang Yi was also an expert who was powerful enough to scare away the top beasts who guarded the treasures. Therefore, 
everything here belonged to him. Wang Yi didn't hold back. He directly knocked open the green jade rocks around the ancient tea tree. Following the principle of not wasting anything, he stored all the shattered green jade rocks into the system space. After all, no matter how small a mosquito's leg was, it was still meat, right? Then, Wang Yi turned into a woodcutter. However, unlike woodcutters who cut down trees, he uprooted the entire tree. Before long, a huge pit that was dozens of meters deep appeared in the swamp. The roots of the ancient tea tree were actually about the same height as its trunk. Wang Yi could not help but sigh. This ancient tea tree was too strong. The green jade rock, which was several meters thick and could withstand the attacks of a grandmaster, had actually been drilled through by the roots of the ancient tree. Furthermore, the roots extended for more than 10 meters. Wang Yi smiled and waved his hand. The ancient tea tree was directly sent into the system space. He was also very happy. The trip out of the city had been fruitful. Not only had he returned with a full load, but he had also gained something unexpected. With his goal achieved, Wang Yi prepared to return to the city. It was too depressing in the wilderness, so he was unwilling to stay any longer. Meanwhile, the top beast king, who had already run far away, wanted to leave this place after seeing Wang Yi finish digging up the ancient tea tree. Relief appeared on its hideous beast face. This fiend was finally leaving. That was close, it had almost been discovered by that thing. Wang Yi turned around and was about to leave when he suddenly saw the hiding place of the top beast king, who had just escaped, from the corner of his eye. This was a swamp, other than some scattered bushes, there was nowhere for the beast king to land. At this moment, there were no traces left in the swamp. It had to be known that the top beast king was at least a hundred meters tall and weighed thousands of tons. If it suddenly left while hiding in the swamp, it would definitely leave some traces behind. However, there were no traces in the swamp. What did this mean? This meant that there was definitely something hidden in the swamp that could support its huge body. At the thought of this, Wang Yi's eyes lit up and he stopped in his tracks. Instead, he walked towards the swamp where the top beast king was hiding. The top beast king, who had just heaved a sigh of relief, saw that Wang Yi had suddenly stopped walking and was looking at the swamp where it was hiding. The beast's eyes, which were like huge lamps, immediately widened. Sweat dripped from its forehead, and it kept praying in its heart. Don't go over, please don't go over. However, its prayers were probably not sincere enough as the deities in the sky did not hear it and could not satisfy its wishes. Wang Yi stared at the swamp and walked forward. Actually, he wasn't very sure what was hidden inside the swamp. He could choose whether he wanted to go over or not. However, the entire swamp was so big that there were countless places to hide. Nevertheless, the top beast king was still hiding here. It was fine if the beast king hid here. However, there was something hidden here as well. It was all such a coincidence. He probably wouldn't believe that there was nothing in this swamp. Besides, Wang Yi did not have anything urgent to attend to. It would not take long for him to go over and take a look. He would simply do this since he happened to be here. The majestic Nine Sun's true chi in his palm kept surging. Then, Wang Yi casually slapped the swamp. Bang! A crack echoed through the swamp and spread further. The upper layer of mud in the swamp was simply sent flying in all directions by this terrifying palm strike. Meanwhile, the swamp caved in by several meters, forming a massive pit. At this moment, a corner of something black appeared in the pit. It seemed to be a huge boulder, but there was also a faint gold shine. Wang Yi could not help but feel surprised. Although he had only casually struck out with his palm without using much strength, it was not a problem for him to kill a grandmaster. Unexpectedly, this black thing was not damaged at all. This item was not simple. Wang Yi squatted down curiously and gently knocked on the black rock. Another series of crisp sounds rang out. Then, he continued to increase the force of his knocking. Besides the fact that the sound became louder, there was no change in the black boulder. Wang Yi's eyes lit up and he could not help but feel excited. This thing was not bad. At the very least, it was hard enough. However, he also wanted to test exactly how hard this black boulder was. The dragon elephant wisdom technique circulated on its own. Twelve dragon phantoms and twelve elephant phantoms appeared on both sides of Wang Yi at the same time. They raised their heads to the sky and roared. Then, Wang Yi punched down. The dragon and elephant phantoms followed suit. 10%, 20%, 30%. Wang Yi continued to increase his strength. When he used 30% of his strength, 
the black boulder finally could not take it anymore. Crack, with a cracking sound, a gap appeared in the black boulder and instantly spread downward. Seeing this, Wang Yi immediately stopped. He did not want to destroy the item. Its huge beast eyes seemed to be burning with flames as it roared, Human, you've gone too far. You snatched my precious ancient tree, but you're still not satisfied and actually wanted to snatch my gem mountain. After obtaining the small black mountain, Wang Yi was naturally in an extremely good mood. Looking at the top-notch beast king who seemed to be burning with anger, he couldn't help but tease it. What's wrong? Are you unconvinced? If you're not convinced, come over. If you dare to do so, I'll give you both of these things. Hearing Wang Yi's words, the top beast king roared angrily and prepared to rush over. However, as soon as it took a step, it braked and stopped in place. Then, it roared mockingly, Damn human! Do you think I'm stupid? What am I going to do there? Send myself to you to be killed. Wang Yi shook his head slightly and sighed. You didn't run when you saw me. Do you really think that you're very smart? As soon as he finished speaking, Wang Yi's figure instantly disappeared from the spot. With a terrifying sonic boom, he rushed toward the Beast King. Holy shit! Upon seeing Wang Yi suddenly disappear, the top Beast King cursed angrily. It suddenly exerted strength in its limbs and bounced into the air. In an instant, its huge body disappeared into the clouds. Then, a pair of wings spread out on its back. As it flapped quickly, it flew higher. Boom! At this moment, with a loud bang, Wang Yi's figure appeared where the top Beast King had been standing. As Wang Yi stepped down, the entire swamp seemed to have experienced a huge earthquake. Then, a few meters of the ground disappeared into thin air. It was as if Wang Yi's surroundings had been blown up by a level 18 hurricane. Whether it was the swamp, the soil, the gravel, the bushes, or even the huge tree, they were all uprooted by the wind and thrown into the distance. Behind the clouds, the top beast king, who was flapping its wings, had a look of relief on its face. This human was too ferocious. Fortunately, it reacted quickly enough. Otherwise, it would probably have died here. Then, it glanced at its current height and suddenly felt that it wasn't safe anymore. Thus, it hurriedly flapped its wings and flew higher before it felt a little safer. Then, it provoked Wang Yi, who was still in the center of the storm. Damned human, come up if you have the ability. Do you want to capture me, a great beast king? Try again in your next life. Ha ha. Wang Yi stood in the swamp and looked at the top beast king who had already disappeared behind the clouds. A hint of anger appeared on his face. He cursed bitterly. Damn it, all the winged creatures who can fly are so vile. When I reach the Conate realm, I'll blow your dog head off. Wang Yi could not be blamed for being angry. He had only left the city twice, but he had encountered a flying beast king both times. Wang Yi was absolutely confident that he could smash the fellow flying in the sky with just one hand. However, since the other party could fly, there was no way he could continue playing this game. No matter how powerful Wang Yi was, it was useless if he could not reach it. Upon hearing the other party's provocative words, Wang Yi's originally good mood instantly turned sour. When he looked at the various gains in the system space, he suddenly felt that they were no longer as appealing as before. However, Wang Yi was still a little unwilling to let the other party off just like that. He estimated the distance between them. Then, he used the dragon elephant wisdom technique again. Wang Yi was also constantly accumulating his strength. Suddenly, he seemed to have reached a certain limit. He suddenly exerted strength in his legs, and his body seemed to have turned into an arrow that left the bow. He shot into the air while accompanied by dragon and elephant phantoms. Holy shit, the top beast king in the air was shocked by Wang Yi's sudden action. What did this human want? Did he want to directly jump up? What a joke. Although it did not think that the other party could reach it, it still flapped its wings and flew up. Even with its strength, as it continued to rise in altitude while facing strong winds that could tear apart ordinary rank 9 experts, it still felt a powerful pressure. It was a little difficult to withstand, but for safety's sake, it had no choice but to continue rising. What if that ferocious human could really jump so high? At that time, the Beast King would have nowhere to cry in regret. Wang Yi's figure instantly crossed a distance of countless meters. However, before he could cross more than half the distance, he lost his momentum and fell to the ground. Ha ha, human, are you here to be funny? Did you jump so high to smell my feet? Seeing that the other party could not threaten him, the top beast king no longer felt any pressure and kept mocking Wang Yi in the air. Wang Yi refused to believe it. 
He tried a few more times, but the results were self-evident. He could not reach it at all. Unlike the silver-winged cloud leopard, this top-notch beast king was too agile. Wang Yi jumped higher the next few times and could even vaguely touch the other party. However, the other party could always take advantage of the time he rushed up to instantly change directions. Putting aside the fact that Wang Yi could not jump that high, even if he could, the Beast King would probably have flown somewhere else by the time he jumped up. Wang Yi didn't know how to fly, so he would eventually fall. Moreover, the distance was too far. As a result, his spiritual power couldn't cover the Beast King, nor could he use the Little Li Flying Dagger technique to lock onto the Beast King. How could Wang Yi fight this battle? Wang Yi felt helpless. Even if he was extremely powerful, there was nothing he could do about such a flying creature before he advanced to the Conate Realm. It was still the same old story. After he advanced to the Conate Realm, anyone who dared to fly in front of him would be beaten up. In any case, Wang Yi had no choice but to silently remember this fellow in the sky. He would take revenge on him after he advanced to the Conate Realm. Since he could not do anything to the Beast King now, Wang Yi was not prepared to waste any more time here in Sulk. His figure blurred. When he reappeared, it was beside the small black mountain. Wang Yi did not put it into the system space. Instead, he reached out and lifted the small mountain that was hundreds of meters tall. His goal was simple. Even if he couldn't hammer the Beast King to death, he had to be disgusting and malicious towards it. In short, he couldn't make it comfortable anymore. After tossing the small black mountain in his hand, Wang Yi deliberately said loudly, not bad. I gained a lot from this trip. This is a good treasure. Upon seeing Wang Yi lift up the small black mountain, the eyes of the top beast king in the sky instantly burned with anger. It almost wanted to go down immediately and fight that detestable human. However, its rationality overcame its anger in the end. It suppressed the anger in its heart and shouted sternly, shameless human, you're despicable. Ha ha. Upon hearing the other party's angry voice, Wang Yi couldn't help but laugh and reply, Thank you for the treasure, brother beast. I'm eternally grateful. If there's a chance in the future, I'll definitely beat brother beast to death as repayment. Ha ha. As Wang Yi spoke arrogantly, his figure gradually disappeared into the swamp. After walking for a long distance, Wang Yi realized that the top beast king in the sky did not follow him. He could not help but feel dispirited. He casually stuffed the small black mountain into the system space and sped toward Kang City. Wang Yi had cleared out the beasts outside the giant city, leaving behind an empty area. But along the way, Wang Yi realized that countless beasts had once again gathered in this area. Logically speaking, after a large number of beasts were killed, there should not be any large-scale beast gatherings for a short period of time. Wang Yi could not figure out what was going on. However, this did not stop him from continuing to collect spiritual food. The beasts that had gathered again allowed Wang Yi to harvest another wave of ingredients. This greatly improved his somewhat bad mood. However, he still held a grudge for not being able to catch that top-notch beast king. In his villa in Kang City, Vivi Hen Wang Yi returned, he realized that the renovation company had already started to wrap things up. A person who looked like a manager was cleaning up the place with a group of workers. This made him sigh. The world of martial arts was indeed extraordinary. Individuals were generally very powerful. In his previous life, this amount of work would take days or even half a month to complete, but it was completed in less than a day here. When Wang Yi arrived at the courtyard, he did not care if his actions were a little shocking. Under the incredulous gazes of the group of workers, he simply took out the ancient tea tree from the system space. This tree, which was more than 10 meters tall, was much taller than the original ancient tree. Wang Yi dug a huge pit that was about the same depth as the ancient tea tree in the position where the ancient tree originally stood. Then, he simply planted the ancient tea tree. Then, he took out many strange flowers and herbs that he had picked in the wilderness from the system space. After that, he said to the dumbfounded renovation workers, please help me plant these later. Jia Shi did not expect this either. It was just an ordinary renovation mission from the company. Even if it was a little special, it was just that the customer was more generous in their payment. But he saw a scene that he would never forget. He saw the owner of the villa. With a casual wave of the owner's hand, a tea tree that was more than 10 meters tall appeared in the courtyard. Then, with just a casual punch, a deep pit more than 10 meters deep appeared in the courtyard. This method that appeared out of thin air gave its user the power to create a pit more than 10 meters deep with a single punch. 
It simply resembled the technique of an immortal god. Although Jia Shi was also a martial artist, this method constantly challenged his nerves, his perceptions, and his worldview. He was not the only one who was shocked. The workers under him were even worse. They were all stunned. As the owner of the villa spoke, no one but Jia Shi reacted. Thus, Jia Shi had no choice but to bite the bullet and stammer, why yes, sir. Seeing that the other party had agreed, Wang Yi nodded in satisfaction and walked toward the second floor of the villa. Meanwhile, the silver-winged cloud leopard in the corner was swaying its small wings like a supervisor as it watched the renovation workers plant the strange flowers and herbs one by one. It was like a loyal dog doing its duty to guard its master's courtyard. As Wang Yi stood by the window on the second floor, he found the scene outside quite interesting. He casually took out a red fruit that was surrounded by boundless spiritual energy from the system space. Then, he threw it at the silver-winged cloud leopard and said with a smile, this is for you. He had picked up this red fruit on the way back to the city. At that time, a rank 8 beast king was still guarding it. However, the beast king was also unlucky to have encountered Wang Yi, who had gone to the wilderness to obtain goods. Not only was the supreme treasure it was guarding snatched away, but it even lost its life. Crack, seeing Wang Yi throw down a red fruit, the silver-winged cloud leopard jumped up and simply caught it in its mouth. Then, it swallowed it in no time. Red juice splashed all over its face and whiskers. After eating the red fruit, the silver-winged cloud leopard smacked its lips. It did not recognize this fruit, but it could feel that it contained terrifying spiritual energy, and it tasted quite good. Boom! In the next moment, the silver-winged cloud leopard felt the spiritual energy in its body surge crazily. Its front leg that Wang Yi had previously broken almost instantly recovered. Meanwhile, the wound on its other front leg that had been smashed into a bloody mist suddenly felt numb. Then, countless red blood lines appeared out of thin air. They kept swaying and intertwining before they slowly extended down. Finally, they turned into a front leg. As the blood slowly faded, the silver-winged cloud leopard was shocked to discover that its missing front leg had grown back. It lightly tapped the ground with its newly grown front leg in disbelief. That sensation of a real touch could not be faked. Although the new front leg was still a little fragile, it had indeed regrown. Moreover, as it slowly cultivated in the future, there was still a high chance that it would become as powerful as before. No matter what, it was better than losing a front leg and becoming a crippled leopard. After a while, the silver-winged cloud leopard was overjoyed and calmed down. Meow. Suddenly, it meowed like a kitten at Wang Yi, who was standing by the French window and wagged its tail ingratiatingly. How embarrassing. As a rank 9 beast king, I actually have to pretend to be a kitten to please this fierce person. But that fruit was so delicious. It smelled so good. Wang Yi looked at the silver-winged cloud leopard and shook his head helplessly. Then, he left the French windows. Oh yes, I don't think I've ordered a sign yet. Wang Yi, who was about to take a break, suddenly slapped his forehead and remembered. Previously, he seemed to have found a renovation company before rushing out of the city. He had really forgotten about the signboard. However, that wasn't a problem for him. He took a step and instantly disappeared. The next second, he was at the door of the villa. Then, Wang Yi found a 5 meter tall green jade rock in the system space and placed it at the entrance of the villa. The shape of the green jade rock was similar to a rockery. Wang Yi wiped it with his hand, and the uneven rock surface became extremely smooth. Then, Wang Yi placed his fingers together and used them like a sword before he started carving on the smooth rock. At this moment, his fingers seemed to have turned into the tip of a pen, and the green jade rock turned into a piece of paper. As for Wang Yi, he was like a master of calligraphy. As he wrote, he was like a huge dragon that wanted to fly away. At the same time, he was also like an accomplished monk who had shed away the prosperity of the mortal world and comprehended the true meaning of the void. As the last stroke fell, Two bold words were left on the green jade rock. Faded cafeteria, all right, Wang Yi admitted that he was also useless at naming. He was not much better than the system. However, he had his own reasons for using this name. If one wanted to eat at his place, it was indeed not necessary to be rich. Instead, one had to be faded. To put it bluntly, Wang Yi would not open for business every day. Perhaps, if he was in a good mood, he would open for business early. If he was in a bad mood, he might not open the restaurant for several days. The so-called fate simply meant that if Wang Yi was in a good mood, the restaurant was open, 
and the customer was pleasing to the eye, Wang Yi would be willing to entertain them. Hello, sir. The rooms have been renovated according to your request. The flowers and plants you have requested have also been planted. Please verify them, sir. If there are no problems, we will leave. When the workers arrived at the entrance of the villa, Jia Shi stuttered as he looked at Wang Yi. After a long time, the shock in Jia Zai's heart did not lessen. Instead, it grew stronger. When he saw Wang Yi, he could not control his emotions. Wang Yi shook his head helplessly. He did not know why the other party was so afraid of him. He directly took out a stack of 100 yuan notes from the system space. He didn't care how much money he had taken out. Instead, he stuffed the wad of cash into the other party's hand and said with a smile, You've worked hard. Split it among the workers and buy a pack of cigarettes. Joshi held the money in his hand and roughly estimated that it was at least 20,000 yuan. This shocked him. After all, there were a dozen workers. If they finished the job, they would be lucky to receive 2,000 yuan, including the tip from the customer. This amount of 20,000 yuan was almost equivalent to more than 10 days' salary for the workers. This was really too much. Joshi did not dare to accept it just like that. He hurriedly said, Thank you, sir, but you're giving too much. We can't take it. However, Wang Yi waved his hand and said indifferently, Since you completed the things I asked you to do, you still have to receive the remuneration you deserve. I don't like to take advantage of others. Joshi declined a few more times and realized that Wang Yi had no intention of relenting. Moreover, from the looks of it, Wang Yi did not seem to care much about money. Thus, Joshi gritted his teeth and put the money away. Then, he said gratefully, I thank you on behalf of my brothers. However, Wang Yi waved his hand and said indifferently, You're welcome. You deserve it. The money was really nothing to him. Besides, it was true. He really didn't like to take advantage of others. He instructed the other party to plant those strange flowers and herbs. That was not their job, but Wang Yi still had to pay them since they had already done it. Jia Shi looked down and saw that there was stone powder scattered around the green jade rock. Since Wang Yi had given him too much money, Jia Shi, who was filled with gratitude and wanted to do something, immediately said, Sir, this place is still a little dirty. I'll help you clean it up later. Wang Yi also looked down and realized that there was indeed a layer of powder on the ground. This must have been caused by his fingers when he was writing the sign. Wang Yi also knew that Jia Shi was being kind. He chuckled and said, Then I'll have to trouble you. Then, he walked into the villa. At this moment, all the renovation workers had finished their work and gathered at the entrance of the villa. Jia Shi looked around at everyone present and suddenly shouted excitedly, Brothers, we're rich. This is from the Soundstory audiobook YouTube channel. As he spoke, a large stack of money suddenly appeared in his hand. Then, he said, seeing that we worked so well, the owner of the villa rewarded us with 20,000 yuan. Everyone has contributed to this money. Let's split it evenly. Zhao Danyu, this is yours. Sun Ping An, this is yours. As Jia Shi continued to distribute the money, the 20,000 yuan was quickly given out to everyone. The renovation workers held the money, their faces filled with excitement and ecstasy. They could not help but be happy. Each of them received more than a thousand yuan. That was equivalent to most of their monthly salary. Everyone shouted excitedly, Long live the owner. Long live manager Ja. Then, everyone looked at each other and laughed. They also silently sighed that they had met a good manager. When the owner gave an additional reward to the manager, whether or not it was given to the subordinates depended on the manager's mood. If it were any other manager, it was very likely that they would not share this money with them. Even if they did, they would probably only receive one or two hundred yuan each. It was rare for someone like Jia Shi to be willing to split it equally with his subordinates. After all, everyone liked money. No one hated having too much money. Seeing that everyone was happy, Jia Shi was in a good mood. Then, he said, All right, don't take this money for nothing. See those stone fragments on the ground. Clean these up before you go. After saying that, he pointed to the area around the green jade rock sign and gestured for everyone to get to work. One of the renovation workers stood up. His rough voice sounded very simple. Manager Ja, just watch. After saying that, the group of workers walked over with their tools and chatted happily. It was obvious that they had yet to recover from their excitement. A. Why are these stone fragments stuck in the ground? No, they're not stuck in the ground. This thing is just heavy. Manager Ja, come and take a look. 
Joshi had clasped his hands behind his back and watched everyone work. He thought about how he had gotten an unexpected windfall today. Should he take his wife out for a romantic evening? Even though they had been married for so many years, it had been a long time since the two of them had gone out for a meal together. Suddenly, his thoughts were interrupted by the voice of one of his workers. He stepped forward. What's going on? At this moment, a renovation worker walked over with difficulty. He was holding a stone fragment the size of a grain of sand in his hand. Looking at the sweaty, bulging veins on his body and his trembling hands, anyone who didn't know better would think he was carrying a mountain. Joshi took the stone fragment and his pupils were constricted. How heavy! This sand-sized stone fragment probably weighed nearly 500 kilograms. Only the people of this world had been baptized by spiritual energy all year round. Thus, even ordinary people who had not become martial artists had abnormally strong physiques. If this was Wang Yi's previous life, just this stone fragment would be enough to crush someone to death. It wasn't until Jia Shi took the stone fragment that the renovation worker started breathing heavily. After a while, he said while still panting, Manager Jia, I really can't do this job. The one in your hand is already the smallest one. It's already so heavy. We can't move the bigger ones at all. Joshi pinched a stone fragment in his hand, and his expression changed several times. Then, as if he had thought of something, he said with a solemn expression, stay here and watch first. Don't touch the stone fragments on the ground. Don't lose even a single stone fragment. With that, he took the stone fragment and left the entrance of the villa in a hurry. Only the renovation workers were left. They looked at each other in confusion. The Yonghua Chamber of Commerce was a comprehensive chamber of commerce that mainly bought and sold martial arts resources, bought dire beast materials, and auctioned high-end martial arts resources. In the reception room on the second floor of the Chamber of Commerce. At this moment, two people were sitting opposite each other. An old man in a white appraiser's uniform was speaking with a smile. Ah Shi, what can't be explained over the phone that you have to come to me? Meanwhile, Jia Shi was sitting opposite the old man. He had sensed that something was wrong the moment he had taken the stone fragment, although he did not recognize what material it was made of. However, for such a small thing to weigh so much, it had to be something more. Therefore, he thought of coming to appraise the stone fragment. Coincidentally, an appraiser from the Yonghua Chamber of Commerce was an acquaintance of his. Upon hearing the old man's words, Jia Shi placed the stone fragment on the table and said solemnly, Second Grandpa, I have something that I need you to appraise. Then, just after the stone fragment was placed on the table, a series of unpleasant creaking sounds came from the guest table that was purely made of solid wood. Upon seeing this, the old man picked up the stone fragment on the table. Looking at the old man's relaxed appearance, it was obvious that he was also a powerful martial artist. The old man kept examining the stone fragment. He was no longer as relaxed as before. Every now and then, he would gasp. After a while, the old man asked in shock, Ah Shi, where did you get this? However, Jia Shi shook his head and asked in a low voice, Second Grandpa, can you tell what this? Seeing that Jia Shi was unwilling to say anything, the old man did not probe further and directly said, This little thing is not simple. If I'm not wrong, this should be a fragment from a green jade rock. Furthermore, this green jade rock is the strongest material for forging Grandmaster rank weapons. By mixing some of these stone fragments into the weapon of a martial artist at the battle warrior rank, it can double the sharpness and toughness of the weapon. This fragment is worth at least 10,000 yuan. After saying that, the old man looked forward. Then, he sighed and spoke regretfully. What a pity, you only have one fragment. If you had more than a thousand, you could totally forge a peak battle warrior rank weapon. When the old man said that each grain was worth 10,000 yuan, Jia Shi was already in a daze. As for the rest of his words, he did not hear them at all. If the smallest stone fragment had such terrifying value, wouldn't the ones at the entrance of the villa add up to more than a hundred million yuan? Upon thinking of this, Jia Zai's breathing became heavy again. He instantly felt that his back was already drenched in cold sweat. Without saying goodbye to the old man, he left the reception room with lifeless eyes and kept muttering, Oh no! Oh no! I'm in big trouble! He actually wanted to help the owner of the villa throw away such a priceless thing as trash. Seeing Jia Shi leave just like that, the old man shook his head helplessly. You're already so old, yet you're still acting like a child. At the entrance to the villa, when the renovation workers saw Jia Shi return, 
they instantly surrounded him and asked noisily, Manager Jia, what should we do about this? Jia Zai's expression was a little ugly. He looked around at his subordinates and said dejectedly, Brothers, we seem to be in trouble. Give me the money we split earlier. If anything happens later, push it on me. Although the group didn't know what it meant to be in trouble, in their trust in Jia Xi, everyone took out their money without hesitation. Then, there was the sound of people talking. Manager Jia, what are you talking about? Our brothers have followed you and have received a lot of care from you. How can we let you shoulder it yourself if something happens? Manager Jia, don't worry. No matter what happens, we'll take it with you. Jia's eyes heart warmed slightly when he heard his shouts from his old brothers. His eyes reddened and tears almost fell. Suppressing his tears, he gritted his teeth and said in a deep voice, All right. I, Jia Shi, would like to thank my brothers. Wait here first. One foot eleven go in and meet the owner of the villa again. As long as I can survive this, if there's anything for me to eat in the future, I won't let my brothers starve. After saying that, he walked straight into the villa. With this aura, it really felt like the wind was blowing and the water was cold. Bang, 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 someone knocked on the door. Wang Yi looked through the door and was surprised. Hadn't they finished their work? Why was he back? However, Wang Yi still opened the door. Seeing that Jia Xi looked like he was about to enter the battlefield, he did not know whether to laugh or cry. Why, is there anything else? Plop, Jia Xi was quite straightforward. After seeing Wang Yi open the door, he knelt on the ground and spoke sincerely. Jia Xi was blind. It's not that I wanted Sir's treasure. If Sir wants to hit or punish me, it's up to Sir. Wang Yi was caught off guard by his sudden move. He waved his true chi and lifted the other party up. Then, he asked in confusion, what are you doing? Jia Xi carefully raised his head. Seeing that Wang Yi was not about to flare up, he explained with some lingering fear, previously, wasn't there some gravel on the ground at your door? I wanted to help you clean it up. Wang Yi nodded. He remembered this matter. Just now, when Jia Xi wanted to help him clean up, he thought that this person was not bad. Jia Xi gritted his teeth and continued, when I got my workers to clean up, I realized that there was something wrong with these stone fragments. They were very heavy, and the sand-sized fragments weighed thousands of kilograms. At that time, I felt that this was abnormal, so I took one of the stone fragments to the Yonghua Chamber of Commerce for an appraisal. In the end, the appraiser there said that this thing is extremely precious. The stone fragments at your door are probably worth more than a hundred million yuan. Just as he finished speaking, Wang Yi could not help but gold his forehead with his hand. He felt very awkward, he had been too careless. He was still not used to being a martial arts expert. He had forgotten that the green jade rock that he used as his sign was a precious material for forging grandmaster rank weapons. How could the stone fragments that fell from it be ordinary? Wang Yi felt a little helpless. It was no wonder that the other party was so frightened. If it were anyone else, they might not be much stronger than this person. Don't worry, this has nothing to do with you. I was careless. Wang Yi could only comfort him. After all, this was indeed his own problem. Hearing that Wang Yi was not going to fuss about this matter, Jia Xi felt as if his body had been hollowed out. He actually felt like he had escaped death. He quickly took out the 20,000 yuan on him. Sir, please take back the money. I'm too ashamed to ask for more. However, Wang Yi shook his head and pushed the money back. Just accept it in peace. There's no reason for me to take back what I've given away. Seeing that the other party was determined, Jia Xi could only thank him again and accept the money. Then, he was overjoyed. Not only did the owner not argue with him, but he also let him keep the reward. Jia Xi was happy, but Wang Yi was even happier than him. Indeed, strength limits one's horizons. The previous owner of his body was not a martial artist. Thus, he didn't know the value of martial arts resources at all, nor did he know about these chambers of commerce that mainly served martial artists. Wang Yi also treated the memories of the previous owner as experience. He only knew that these martial arts resources were precious, but he did not know how valuable they were. However, today, someone actually told him that the stone fragments he casually threw away were actually worth more than a hundred million. How could he not be happy? There were plenty of such things in the system space. If he sold some of them, he wouldn't face any pressure when upgrading the system to the advanced level, let alone the intermediate level. When he thought of this, Wang Yi couldn't help but laugh out loud. He patted Jia Xi on the shoulder and said, You're not bad. You're very good. 
Jia Shi didn't know why Wang Yi suddenly became so excited. He laughed dryly and said, Sir, if there's nothing else, I'll take my leave first. Seeing that the other party wanted to leave, Wang Yi said directly, Don't be anxious. If you do me another favor, I will definitely not mistreat you after this. Yes, yes, sir. Jia Shi was about to take a step forward when Wang Yi's words instantly locked him in place. His heart was pounding. Was this person not going to let him go again? Was he going to deal with him? Wang Yi did not know what the other party was thinking. Even if he did, he might not care. He said calmly, it won't be difficult for you. You just have to take me to what you call the Yonghua Chamber of Commerce. Upon hearing this, Jia Shi suddenly heaved a sigh of relief. He was really afraid that the owner wanted him to do something that would get him killed. With the owner's immortal-like methods, if he was really asked to kill himself, he would not dare to refuse. All right, shall we go now? Jia Shi, who was relieved, asked carefully. Wang Yi nodded slightly in agreement. Then, the two of them walked out of the villa. The renovation workers surrounding the door looked at Jia Shi, who looked like he was about to rush to the execution ground just now. However, at this moment, he looked excited as he walked out chatting and laughing with the owner of the villa. Everyone felt a little confused. What happened to the big trouble? Why did it feel like nothing had happened? Jia Shi had his own car. Thus, he drove Wang Yi straight to the Yonghua Chamber of Commerce. However, before he left, he reminded his subordinates to take good care of the stone fragments on the ground and not lose a single one. In the same reception room on the second floor of the Yonghua Chamber of Commerce, the old man in a white appraiser's uniform was still there. The only difference was that there was Wang Yi this time. The old man looked at Jia Shi and said helplessly, Ah Shi, did you say on the phone that this guest wants to see me? Without waiting for Jia Shi to reply, Wang Yi stood up and said with a smile, I'm sorry. I've disturbed you. When the old man saw that Wang Yi had spoken up, he smiled and said, You're too polite. We're just doing business. There's no such thing as being disturbed. May I know your name? Old man, are you being polite? My surname is Wang. I came here today because I have something I want you to take a look at. Wang Yi's motive for this trip was very clear, so he went straight to the point. Was he going to ask for an appraisal? The old man suddenly remembered the green jade rock fragment that Jia Shi had previously brought over. Now, Jia Shi had suddenly brought a stranger back to the Chamber of Commerce and asked him to look at an item. It was too much of a coincidence for him not to think about it. Don't tell me that it's that thing. The old man was shocked by his own thoughts. It had been many years since the Yonghua Chamber of Commerce had traded items of this level. This was not impossible. Otherwise, with Jia Zai's status, it was not that the old man looked down on him, but he would probably never be qualified to come into contact with the stone fragments of the green jade rock in his life. At the thought of this, the old man's eyes lit up and his heart burned. If it was really that thing, and the old man bought it under the Chamber of Commerce, the Chamber of Commerce would become famous. However, that would not be the only outcome. The old man might also be able to use this opportunity to obtain first place in the next selection of high-level appraisers. The more he thought about it, the more excited he became. The old man could not help but say, Mr. Wong, you're too polite. I wonder what it is. Let me broaden my horizons. Wang Yi did not hold back with the other party. He directly took out a green jade rock, the size of a washbasin from the system space. Like Jia Shi, the old man was stunned by this method of creating things out of thin air. He stood rooted to the ground, momentarily speechless. Just as Wang Yi was about to place the green jade rock on the table, the old man suddenly recovered from his shock. Before he could see what Wang Yi was holding, he shouted anxiously, Mr. Wang, please wait. Wang Yi's hand stopped in midair. He asked in confusion, what's wrong? The old man glanced at the item in Wang Yi's hand and felt so lucky that his heart did not jump out of his chest. He thought to himself that he was lucky. Fortunately, he reacted in time. If he had been a little late, this reception room would have been destroyed. It was unknown if Mr. Wang really didn't know how heavy this thing was, or if he did it on purpose. The old man hurriedly stood up and ran towards the corner of the room as he explained, Mr. Wang, this other table can withstand what you're holding. Wang Yi placed his hand on his forehead again, feeling very embarrassed. This was too embarrassing. He had actually overlooked it again. Although this thing weighed nothing in his hand, it was actually no lighter than a small mountain. If he let go of this thing, it would be very lively. 
he saw the old man take out a small square table with a complicated structure from the corner of the room. After placing the small square table in front of Wang Yi, the old man said again, please place your item on this table. Wang Yi did not know if this square table could withstand the weight of the green jade rock, but since the other party had said so, he directly placed the rock on it. It was strange that this, green jade rock, that was comparable to a small mountain did not crush the small square table. Wang Yi could not help but click his tongue in wonder. Although the old man had already guessed that Wang Yi wanted him to appraise the green jade rock, he still found it unbelievable when he took it out. It was really too big. It was completely different from what he had imagined. He thought that it would already be rare for Wang Yi to take out something as big as a fist. He had never expected that there would be such a large piece. A top-notch grandmaster rank weapon could probably be forged with the green jade rock as its main material. It was likely that such a large piece of green jade rock had never appeared in the entire Kang city or even the 13 southwest cities, let alone the Yonghua Chamber of Commerce. The old man looked at it and was actually a little fascinated for a moment. He reached out his withered palm and gently stroked the surface of the green jade rock. Although it was a little bumpy, it was like touching a peerless woman in the old man's eyes. He was very gentle and careful. After a while, the old man seemed to come to his senses after being in a state of obsession. Sensing that he had lost his composure, he spoke awkwardly. I'm sorry, the material that Mr. Wong took out is really too precious. I was a little mesmerized by it and lost my composure. Please forgive me. However, Wang Yi waved his hand and said with a smile, Old man, you're too polite. I wonder how much my little thing can be sold for. As soon as he finished speaking, the old man's expression became interesting. He knew that the other party probably wanted to make a move by taking out this thing. He was still worried about how to persuade the other party to leave this green jade rock in the Yonghua Chamber of Commerce. Unexpectedly, before the old man could speak, Wang Yi directly asked about the price. Although the old man was filled with excitement, he also knew that this kind of thing was no longer up to an appraiser like him. He could only stand up again and say apologetically, Mr. Wang, I'm sorry, please wait a moment. This green jade rock is really too precious. Its price is not something I can decide. I'll go and invite our president. With that, the old man walked out of the reception room. After a while, a middle-aged man in a luxurious robe walked in. I'm Fu Anji, the president of the Yonghua Chamber of Commerce. I heard that Mr. Wong is preparing to sell the green jade rock. As the two of them entered, the middle-aged man in the Chinese robes looked at Wang Yi. After introducing himself, he went straight to the point. Wang Yi nodded slightly and said with a smile, that's right. However, whether I sell it or not will depend on how much President Fu can offer. Just as he finished speaking, Fu and Ji took a deep breath. He knew that the other party was preparing to sell it, but when the other party said this, he still felt his heart race. There was no other reason. This large piece of green jade rock was really too precious. If the Yonghua Chamber of Commerce auctioned it, they would probably be able to use this opportunity to walk out of Kang City and establish themselves in the 13 southwest cities. After calming himself down, Fu Enji spoke again with a smile. Mr. Wong, don't worry, the price will definitely satisfy you. I wonder what Mr. Wong is going to sell it for. Are you going to exchange it for martial arts resources or sell it for money? Upon hearing Fu Enji's question, Wang Yi said directly, in that case, I'll sell it for money. I wonder how much President Fu can pay. At the same time, he was complaining in his heart. What he lacked the most was money. What was the use of martial arts resources? If he lacked any resources, he could just go to the wilderness to obtain them. What was the point of exchanging them here? Meanwhile, Fu Enji felt that Wang Yi would probably exchange it for martial arts resources. Unexpectedly, Wang Yi actually wanted to exchange this material for money. After all, the supreme materials like the green jade rock that could be used to forge a grandmaster rank weapon were no longer something that could be measured with money. Most of them were exchanged for items. This caught him off guard, and his expression became very solemn. After thinking for a long time, he said, Mr. Wang, are you sure you want to exchange it for money? Wang Yi said nothing, he just nodded slightly. Upon seeing this, Fu Enji was silent for a while again. Then, he said, no one has ever traded such a precious treasure for money. I don't dare to make a conclusion about its exact value. Mr. Wong, how about this? Let's set a price of 10 billion for this green jade rock. Of course, 
With how precious the green jade rock is, it must be worth more than that. We will spread the news of green jade rock. Then, the Yonghua Chamber of Commerce will auction it at a low price of 10 billion. If the auction succeeds, the extra money will still belong to Mr. Wong. If it goes unsold, the Yonghua Chamber of Commerce is willing to buy it for 10 billion. Of course, there's not much chance of it going unsold. Too many people need such precious materials. What do you think, Mr. Wong? Wang Yi nodded when he heard this. He was quite satisfied with this price. It was just enough for the system upgrade, and he would even be a little rich after that. As for the value of the green jade rock and whether the other party had offered a low price, he did not care that much. Could it be that he had to ask other merchants about the price one by one? Stop joking. If he had that time, it would be enough for him to leave the city for more resources again. Then, Wang Yi said directly, All right, let's do as you say. However, I'm a little short of money now. Please give me 10 billion directly. I'll leave the green jade rock to you. You can do whatever you want. Contact me after the auction. After hearing this, Fu Enji's face lit up. Then, he said awkwardly, Well, the Chamber of Commerce only has 5 billion yuan in liquid funds now. An amount of 10 billion yuan will take a few days to raise. Wang Yi waved his hand in frustration. Just give me 5 billion directly. Raise the rest for me as soon as possible. To be honest, Wang Yi was indeed a little disappointed. He had thought that he could directly upgrade the system this time. He did not expect that such a large chamber of commerce could not even produce 10 billion yuan. If Fu Enji knew about this, he would probably vomit blood from anger. As a businessman, if he had money, he would go and hoard martial arts resources. Who would be so free and have nothing to do to the point that they would have so much liquid funds in their account? Upon hearing Wang Yi's words, Fu Enji was instantly overjoyed. With his eyesight, when he first entered the room, he could tell that this green jade rock was definitely the real thing with just a casual glance. Although Wang Yi was so anxious for money, he was not afraid that this was a scam. What happened next was much simpler. Wang Yi left the green jade rock behind and left the Yonghua Chamber of Commerce with a black crystal card containing 5 billion yuan. It was only after Wang Yi and the other man left that Fu Enji had the time to carefully study the green jade rock. As his palm kept rubbing against it, an intoxicated expression appeared on his face. Fu Enji could be considered as someone who had been in the Chamber of Commerce circle for half his life. It was not as if he had not obtained a treasure of this level before. However, all of those had been calculated in centimeters. In contrast, a piece like Wang Yi's was enough to forge a Grandmaster rank weapon. He had never even heard of such a treasure, let alone obtain it. Perhaps no supreme treasure of this level had appeared in the entire 13 southwest cities so far. Suddenly, Fu Enji stopped rubbing the rock. His pupils revealed a hint of fear, and his voice was trembling as he said to the old man beside him, Elder Jaw, look at this green jade rock. Something seems to be wrong. The old man's heart almost jumped out of his throat at the other man's words. The money's all gone. Don't tell me that you've made a mistake. If that was the case, then things would be a little serious. After all, he was the one who had appraised this green jade rock, as well as the one who had invited Fu Enji here. If this turned out to be a fake and caused such a huge loss to the Chamber of Commerce, even killing him would not be enough to compensate for the 5 billion, let alone asking a high-leveled appraiser to make up for the losses. The old man could not help but curse Jia Shi in his heart. This grandson had tricked his grandfather. Then, he said anxiously to Fu Enji, President, they just left. They shouldn't have gone far. Let's hurry up and chase after them. We still have a chance to get the money back. With that, the old man rushed towards the door. Fu Enji did not know whether to laugh or cry at the old man's words. He knew that the old man had misunderstood his meaning. He could not help but support his forehead with his hand and hurriedly shouted, Elder Ja, don't be anxious. There's no problem with the jade rock. The old man instantly stopped and looked at Fu Enji in surprise, not knowing what he meant. Fu Enji didn't waste any time. He pointed at a bump on the green jade rock. Then, he asked, Elder Ja, take a look at this green jade rock. Is there anything strange about? At this moment, the old man also walked from the door to the small square table and looked in the direction Fu Enji was pointing at. There seemed to be a faint silver spot on a bulge, but it was so small that it would have been impossible to notice without looking carefully. When the old man saw the spot, he was in the same state as Fu Enji just now, and his eyes were filled with fear. Then, 
His entire face was almost pressed against the green jade rock. His eyes were fixed on it as if he was looking for something. As expected, as expected, the legend is actually true. It's the blue sky star. It's actually the blue sky star. I didn't expect that in my lifetime, I, Jia Zhuangzheng, would actually have the chance to see such a legendary phenomenon. The old man's crazy voice filled the reception room. He sounded hysterical. Next to him, Fu Enji was also abnormally excited. Although he did not shout crazily, he was no less excited than the old man. After a while, the old man finally calmed down. He looked at Fu Enji and asked in disbelief, President, am I seeing things? Fu Enji was obviously still very excited. He said excitedly, Elder Jia, that's right. You didn't see it wrong. This is from the Soundstory audiobook YouTube channel. The green jade rock, the silver spot, the earth fire, and the divine marrow. It's exactly the same as the legends. This is actually the essence of the green jade rock. It's enough to forge a grandmaster rank weapon. However, this ecstasy did not last long. Fu Enji suddenly thought of something, and his expression became extremely solemn. Elder Jia, we seem to be in trouble. The old man, who was still in extreme shock and ecstasy, was a little confused when he heard Fu Enji's words. President, this is a huge opportunity. Why are you saying that we are in trouble? Fu Enji let out a long sigh, his eyes filled with worry. Elder Jia, do you know who is supporting our Chamber of Commerce? The old man did not know what the other party meant, but he still replied, President, this is not difficult for me. The person supporting us is naturally the third elder of the Chamber of Commerce Alliance, Grand Master Zhang Tianxing. The worry in Fu Enji's eyes deepened as he slowly said, In that case, do you know what will happen if the news that we have the green jade rock marrow gets out? Even a top figure like a rank 9 Grand Master would go crazy over it. In the entire Langyu County, there aren't many rank 9 Grand Masters, but there are still some. Furthermore, Grand Master Zhang Tianxing is only a rank 7 Grand Master. He's indeed powerful enough under normal circumstances, but if rank 9 big shots start to fight over the green jade stone marrow, how can Grand Master Zhang Tianxing resist them? The old man was so frightened by these words that he broke out in a cold sweat. Only then did he realize the seriousness of the matter. He hurriedly said, then in order to prevent the news from being leaked, why don't we hold back on auctioning it? However, Fu Enji shook his head and said helplessly, Elder Jia, your thoughts are too naive. How can someone who can casually take out such a treasure be a simple character? Don't look at how polite that person was. Believe it or not, if we don't dare to auction this green jade rock, we will definitely die miserably. The old man was really panicking now. He said impatiently, we'll die even if we don't auction it. What should we do then? Fu Enji was a little impatient. He paced back and forth in the reception room for a long time. Then, it was as if he had suddenly made up his mind. There was also a hint of madness in his expression. He gritted his teeth and said, I'll go find that person from Tantra City. I'll see who still dares to cause trouble. The old man seemed to know who Fu Enji was talking about and what was going on. When he heard that Fu Enji would go to look for that person, his expression changed several times, but he still couldn't help but persuade him, at most, I'll go look for Mr. Wong. We'll return this green jade rock marrow to him. I'm willing to bear the punishment myself. President, you must not look for that person. That person has been coveting the thing in your hands for a long time. It's just that he can't snatch it because of his reputation. However, if you beg that person for help this time, he definitely won't let go of such a good opportunity. Fu Enji knew that the old man was doing this for his own good, but he had no choice. From the looks of it, this was a big crisis. If he did not handle this well, this would cause trouble and ruin his family. However, it was also an opportunity. It was a tremendous opportunity for him to fulfill the plan he had almost given up on. At the thought of this, Fu Enji's expression suddenly became calm, and his pupils were filled with determination. Fu Enji looked at the old man, who still looked anxious, and said calmly, Elder Jia, I've made up my mind. Just do as I say. The old man opened his mouth several times to speak, but nothing came out. In the end, he sighed helplessly. Then, the reception room fell into a long silence. Meanwhile, after Wang Yi and Jia Shi left, Jia Shi felt as if he was walking unsteadily on the clouds. The impact on him today was too great. He had no right to interrupt when he came to the Yonghua Chamber of Commerce again. He watched helplessly as the three of them finalized a 10 billion yuan business deal in just a few sentences. 
That was a huge sum of 10 billion yuan. In front of him, it was actually as casual as a market vendor buying and selling things to a customer. Along the way, Joshi did not know how he came back. He was still a little dazed even as he got out of the car. At the entrance to the villa, when the two of them returned, the renovation workers were still gathered there. Joshi got out of the car. Although his expression was still a little off, he was much better than before. Meanwhile, Wang Yi stood at the entrance of the villa and was in a good mood. He looked at Joshi, who was not in a good state, and said calmly, I'm a man of my word. I've said before that as long as you help me get things done, I won't treat you badly. Help me clean up these trash and stone fragments later. Then, pack them up and take them away. Take it as my payment. After saying that, he walked into the villa with his hands behind his back. Just as he entered, the door closed slowly as if it had been blown by the wind. Why had he given away these stone fragments that were worth more than a hundred million so easily? The reason was very simple. No matter what, Wang Yi was still a top-notch grandmaster. He was almost invincible against anyone below the Konate realm. Thus, Wang Yi honored his word. If he said he didn't want it, he definitely wouldn't want it again. Otherwise, how embarrassing would it be? Besides, he had plenty of trash, like the stone fragments in the system space. He really didn't care much about this. It was only when Wang Yi's figure had disappeared and the villa door closed automatically that Jia Xi regained his senses. With a slight stutter, he said, W what does this mean? Manager Jia, the villa owner asked us to clean up these stone fragments and said that it's your reward. A smart renovation worker beside him quickly reminded him. Staring at the stone fragments on the ground, Jia Zai's breathing became heavy. When he thought of the price the second grandfather had given him, his heart burned. This was a treasure worth more than a hundred million yuan. He did not expect the owner to give it to him as a reward so casually. Joshi had never seen so much money in his life, let alone own that much money. Joshi had never dreamed that he would obtain wealth that no one would even dare to imagine in such a way. After standing there for a long time, the ecstasy in Jia Zai's eyes gradually disappeared. Looking at the closed door of the villa, he bowed all the way down, his heart filled with gratitude. Then, he turned around and shouted almost crazily at the renovation workers who were still in a daze. Brothers, we're rich. I said that as long as I, Jia Xi, don't die and have something to eat, I will never let my brothers starve. Keep these stone chips, I guarantee that each of you will be worth millions after this. Then, Jia Xi did not hide anything and simply told the renovation workers the value of the stone fragments. It was not that Jia Xi was stupid. He just didn't know how to keep a secret. Furthermore, he didn't know the importance of this thing. However, at the moment of life and death, this group of people chose to live and die with him. Thus, he treated this group of people as his true brothers and was willing to trust them unconditionally. As soon as Jia Xi finished speaking, the scene became so quiet that one could hear a pin drop. However, not long after, the silence was broken. More than a dozen people actually cheered. Everyone got busy almost instantly. They felt much more relaxed when they lifted the stone fragments that weighed 500 kilograms each. Wang Yi returned to the villa and fiddled with the black crystal card in his hand. Before long, he became dispirited. Although there was a lot of money inside a total of 5 billion he was only halfway through in his journey to level up the system. He had thought that he would be able to upgrade the system directly this time, but he did not expect that he would have to wait until the auction was over. Of course, if he made a trip to other large cities now and sold another piece of the green jade rock, he would definitely have enough money to upgrade the system. However, there was no particular reason why Wang Yi would rather wait for the auction than go out again. It was just that his laziness was acting up and he did not want to move. In any case, there was not much time left until the auction. Wang Yi could afford to wait. The hall of the villa had been turned into a restaurant. Thus, there were many wooden tables. Wang Yi found a random seat and sat down. Bored, he leaned on the table and silently circulated his cultivation technique. Although this was not as effective as cultivating in seclusion, he could multitask and do other things without delaying his cultivation. Wang Yi turned his head and saw the menu on the wall. It was still blank at that moment. As if he had suddenly thought of something, he couldn't help but get up. A different kind of smile appeared on his face. Then, he scribbled a few lines on the blank menu. Wang Yi stood at the side with his hands behind his back. He looked at his masterpiece on the wall and could not help but nod in satisfaction. Then, 
he casually threw the pen aside. Bang, bang, bang. At that moment there was a series of knocks at the door to the villa. Wang Yi looked back. The door was not closed. Instead, it was wide open. At this moment, two people were standing at the door. One of them looked like an old man. He looked very nervous. When the two people at the door saw Wang Yi turn around, they immediately bowed in unison. Greetings, Lord. Wang Yi looked at the people in front of him. They seemed quite familiar. However, what surprised him was that the two of them were together. The nervous old man at the door was the head of the Shu family, Shu Lianchang. Meanwhile, the person who came with him was actually the director of finance, Tang Zhenyu. How could Wang Yi not be surprised? After knowing Wang Yi's identity, with Tang Zhenyu's shrewdness, it was already kind of him not to attack the Shu family crazily to please Wang Yi. Meanwhile, Wang Yi had never expected that Tang Zhenyu would actually come to see him with the Shu family head today. This is from the Soundstory audiobook YouTube channel. Come in, Wang Yi's calm voice sounded. As for why the two of them were together, he couldn't be bothered to think about it. As Wang Yi finished speaking, the two of them walked into the house. Xu Liancheng followed behind Tang Zhenyu. Not only did his expression not relax, but he also became even more nervous. After all, Wang Yi had left a deep impression on him. He would never forget what had happened in the Shu family's battle arena. It was as if he was facing pressure from a god and his life and death were no longer in his control. He would probably never forget it for the rest of his life. After Wang Yi left the Shu family's battle arena that day, the upper echelons of the Shu family gathered together and discussed for almost the entire day. In the end, Shu Liancheng decided to sell some businesses. After that, he had to gather the remaining 2.5 billion yuan. Next, they had to follow Tang Zhenyu's instructions. The Shu family would deal with the families that had targeted the Su family one by one. In the past few days, Shu Liancheng could vaguely sense that some powerful families were suppressing the Su family. It was also because he was decisive enough to cut the Gordian knot and decisively suppress the few families who had targeted the Su family. Only then was the Shu family able to intimidate those restless forces. Today, all the money had been gathered and the compensation from the other families had arrived. Only then did Shu Liancheng look for Tang Zhenyu. He really did not dare to meet Wang Yi alone. Tang Zhenyu was also helpless. He had just come out of seclusion today when Shu Liancheng came to him and begged to visit Wang Yi with him. To be honest, Tang Zhenyu was extremely unwilling. However, he was the one who had given the other party the idea back then. Furthermore, the other party had exceeded Wang Yi's requirements. Thus, Tang Zhenyu could only follow him. Sit. After the two of them entered the house, Wang Yi gestured for them to sit down and quietly waited for them to continue. There was a saying that one would not visit without a reason. There must be something for the two of them to come. As expected, Tang Zhenyu, who had just sat down, took out a palm-sized brocade box and placed it on the table. Then, he smiled and spoke. V.A. few days ago, I said that I would send some tea leaves to you but I was delayed by something and only came today. Please forgive me. Wang Yi did not hold back. He opened the brocade box and sniffed it. He could smell the unique fragrance of tea leaves. He could not help but praise. These tea leaves are not bad. Tang Zhenyu's face lit up. As long as you like them. Wang Yi nodded slightly and glanced at the other party again. He smiled and said, Not bad. Not bad. Your physical body and true qi have already reached perfection. The only thing missing is an opportunity. Cultivate well. As long as the opportunity comes, you will have a chance to become a grandmaster. Upon hearing Wang Yi's words, Tang Zhenyu immediately became excited. Although he had already vaguely touched the threshold of the grandmaster realm, how could it be so easy to make a breakthrough? However, this person said that he had a chance of becoming a grandmaster. He probably really had a chance to break through to the grandmaster realm. Upon thinking of this, he hurriedly stood up and bowed. Thank you for imparting the technique, Lord. Wang Yi waved his hand indifferently, indicating for Tang Zhenyu to sit down first. Then, he looked at Shu Liancheng. Why are you here? Although Wang Yi's voice was very calm, Shu Liancheng couldn't help but shiver when he heard it. Although Wang Yi's words were calm, Shu Liancheng trembled in fear. M my lord, I'm here to deliver the money from the chips to you. After saying that, he took out two black crystal cards and handed them over respectfully. Wang Yi was stunned for a moment before he reacted. He had almost forgotten that the Shu family still owed him two billion chips worth of money. Then, 
Wang Yi smiled and said, Why, have you gathered all of them? At the side, Xu Liancheng hurriedly said, Sir, we've already gathered the money. There is a total of 2.5 billion yuan in these cards. Of this amount, 2 billion yuan is the balance from your chips, while the remaining 500,000 yuan is from the Xu family for sparing our lives. Wang Yi couldn't help but nod. Xu Liancheng really knew how to conduct himself. He remembered that there were only about three to four hundred members of the Xu family present that day. However, Xu Liancheng had gathered all the money and directly gave him 2.5 billion yuan. All right, is there anything else? Holding two black crystal cards, Wang Yi's tone was much better as he smiled. However, what made him speechless was that Xu Liancheng could clearly solve the problem with one card. Why did he have to use two cards? Didn't he find it troublesome? Seeing that Wang Yi's attitude had improved, Xu Liancheng heaved a long sigh of relief and said respectfully again, there's also another 2.5 billion yuan in the other black crystal card. It's the compensation for the other families that suppressed the Su family. Just as Xu Liancheng finished speaking, the system's mechanical and emotionless notification suddenly sounded in Wang Yi's mind. This is from the Soundstory audiobook YouTube channel. Ding. The host has achieved the conditions for upgrading the system. Ding. Host. Do you want to spend 10 billion yuan to upgrade the system? Wang Yi's expression suddenly became extremely strange. He was also puzzled. He was already holding the two cards in his hand. Why did the system only prompt him after Xu Liancheng was done speaking? Could it be that if Xu Liancheng hadn't said anything, this money wouldn't have been his? Whatever, whatever. Since he couldn't figure it out, Wang Yi didn't think about it anymore. Anyway, it was fine as long as he could level up. Ia, seven high did he have to care so much? Wang Yi was no longer as careful as when he first transmigrated. He did not care if anyone was present and directly said in his mind. Upgrade. While the two of them looked as if they had seen a ghost, the two black crystal cards disappeared into thin air. At the same time, the system's mechanical notification sounded. Ding. The system is upgrading. Ding. Estimated time for upgrade. 12 hours. Countdown. 11 hours 59 minutes and 59 seconds. Wang Yi looked at the constantly changing countdown and felt very helpless. If this unreliable system wanted to upgrade, so be it. Why did it have to do this? Despite his complaints, there was nothing he could do. After all, the system was the boss and had the final say. If Wang Yi was told to wait, he had to wait. Since there were still more than 10 hours before the upgrade was completed, Wang Yi could not be bothered to continue paying attention to the system. Instead, he stared at Xu Liancheng with interest. He was originally prepared to upgrade the system after the auction ended. He did not expect this guy to give him a surprise. He actually sent all the money needed to upgrade the system. As for the other 2.5 billion yuan, it was compensation from the other five families. At that time, Wang Yi had openly made things difficult for the Xu family for the sake of the chips. He had never said that he went to find trouble with them because of the Su family. However, the Xu family directly brought over the compensation from the few families that had targeted the Su family. It was obviously impossible for the five families to take the initiative to take out the money this time. The only explanation was that the Xu family had visited these five families one by one. As for how the Xu family made them willing to fork out money, that was not important. There were only two possibilities for the Xu family to know his true motive. First, someone from the Shu family recognized him and knew that he was the useless son-in-law of the Su family. Alternatively, there was an expert guiding the Shu family from behind. As for who that expert was, wasn't there one sitting beside Shu Liancheng? At the thought of this, Wang Yi glanced at Tang Zhenyu, who was sitting at the side as if nothing had happened. When Wang Yi looked at him, Tang Zhenyu couldn't help but shiver and subconsciously shrink his neck. He thought, what's wrong with him? Why is he looking at me like that? However, Wang Yi did not make a fuss about this matter. No matter what the reason was, his system had indeed been upgraded in the end. This result was what he wanted. As for the process, it didn't matter. As Wang Yi stared at Xu Liancheng, Xu Liancheng felt as if a huge mountain was pressing down on his body. The terrifying pressure made him feel a little dazed. Just as Xu Liancheng was about to give up, Wang Yi finally spoke. There was a faint smile in his voice as if he was in a good mood. You're not bad, you're very good. Then, he said to Tang Zhenyu, let's forget about the matter concerning the Shu family. As soon as Wang Yi finished speaking, 
Shu Liancheng immediately felt the pressure on his body retreat like a falling tide. He heaved a long sigh of relief. The Shu family was completely safe this time. He couldn't help but feel extremely grateful to Tang Zhenyu. It was all thanks to Tang Zhenyu's idea that he could receive this praise. With this praise, from now on, as long as the Shu family did not court death, no one would dare to make an issue out of this matter. His words seemed to have become the Shu family's life-saving card. Tang Zhenyu stood up and said respectfully, Yes, sir. He also understood that the Shu family's crisis was over. If they were lucky enough, they might be able to use this opportunity to build a relationship with this person. From then on, their family's meteoric rise would be Unst brother BLE. This was all very possible. One foot bay just opened for business. Are you two interested in being my first guests? Seeing that the two of them were deep in thought, Wang Yi, who was in a good mood, suddenly spoke. Both of them were stunned for a moment before they reacted. It was no wonder that when they arrived, they found a huge rock at the door with the words, Faded Cafeteria, engraved on it. After entering, the room was decorated in the same way as a restaurant. They were still wondering why this person had opened a restaurant at their house. A grandmaster expert had actually opened a restaurant. If news of this got out, the entrance would probably be broken. After all, it did not matter if they ate here or not. To be able to meet a grandmaster was something that many people could not even dream of. After all, grandmasters were mysterious figures. Ordinary people would not have the chance to meet them. However, there was something else that Tang Zhenyu found even more difficult to accept. In Xu Liancheng's eyes, Wang Yi was only a grandmaster. However, Tang Zhenyu knew that Wang Yi was a terrifying existence who could easily obliterate a rank 9 grandmaster. However, a highly revered figure like him had actually opened a small restaurant. Speaking of opening a restaurant, Tang Zhenyu suddenly remembered that he and Fang Ming's had eaten here a few days ago. Upon thinking of that meal, he subconsciously swallowed his saliva his food was really delicious. Tang Zhenyu was the first to react. While Shu Liancheng was still in a daze, he said excitedly, we're lucky to be sir's first guests. Then, Shu Liancheng also reacted and hurriedly echoed. Wang Yi was not surprised by their reactions, especially Tang Zhenyu's reaction. After eating his cooking once, it was normal for him to have such a reaction. Of course, he wasn't entertaining guests this time. Instead, he was doing business. Of course, he had to follow the rules of business. Then, Wang Yi smiled and said, it's not cheap to eat my food. Only after Wang Yi said this did the two of them notice the menu that Wang Yi had just written. They could not help but reveal a strange expression. Today's menu depends on the boss's mood. You will eat whatever the boss wants to cook. The price is 1 million per customer. Pay first before eating. No credit is given at this restaurant. The two of them looked at each other and couldn't help but wonder if anyone would really come knocking on their door if Wang Yi posted this menu. Wang Yi knew what was going on when he saw their expressions. He shrugged nonchalantly and said, If you think it's too expensive, you don't have to eat here. What are you talking about, sir? It's not expensive. It's not expensive. They spoke almost in unison. Then, Tang Zhenyu spread out his hands and said to Shu Liancheng with a bitter smile. Brother Liancheng, my salary is barely enough to make ends meet. It's hard for me to eat this meal. It looks like I'll have to make you spend money today. Of course, Tang Zhenyu was definitely not as miserable as he claimed to be. After all, he was the second in command of Kang City. He was also responsible for the wealth of the entire city. Thus, a million yuan was nothing to him. However, no matter what, he had been forcefully dragged here by Xu Liancheng today. Of course, he had to make Xu Liancheng bleed. There was no reason for Tang Zhenyu to spend money. Meanwhile, Xu Liancheng was even more indifferent. He had already fallen into the water, so why would he care if his shoes were wet? He had already spent 3.5 billion yuan, so how could he be short of 2 million yuan? He simply took out his card and prepared to pay. We only accept cash in this restaurant. We don't support card payment. When Wang Yi saw Xu Liancheng taking out his card, he immediately stopped him. All of this was just an idea he had conceived on the spur of the moment. Where was he supposed to find a card machine? Xu Liancheng laughed dryly to hide his embarrassment. Then, he took out his phone and made a call. Before long, a car pulled up to the entrance of the villa. Then, two men got out, each carrying a suitcase. After seeing Xu Liancheng, the two of them did not say anything. They put down the suitcase, turned around, and left. 
Sir, there's two million in cash here. It's the money for my and Director Tang's meals. Xu Liancheng picked up the two suitcases on the ground and spoke to Wang Yi. All right, Wang Yi simply replied indifferently and waved his hand gently. Under the shocked gazes of the two of them, the two suitcases instantly disappeared in front of them, just like the two black crystal cards from before. The shock in Xu Liancheng's eyes intensified. The suitcases were in his hands, but they had actually disappeared without him noticing. This is from the Soundstory audiobook YouTube channel. Such immortal-like methods probably only existed in myths and legends. The two of them could not figure out how he had done it, but they did not dare to ask. In the end, they could only conclude that it was because Wang Yi's strength was too terrifying. As for whether that was the case, neither of them thought about it. After Wang Yi put the money into the system space, he said to the two of them with a smile, consider yourselves lucky today. The boss is in a good mood today. Let me show you guys something. With that, he ignored their reactions and headed for the kitchen. After Wang Yi left the room, Xu Liancheng heaved a sigh of relief and felt his body relax. It was too oppressive being with Wang Yi. He could always feel an invisible pressure. Then, he looked at Tang Zhenyu, who was smiling with faint anticipation, and couldn't help but say, Director Tang, why does this lord have such a hobby? The meaning behind Xu Liancheng's words was obvious. He treated Wang Yi's restaurant as Wang Yi's hobby. After all, this was a grandmaster, a big shot whose status was comparable to a town's guardian. Brother Liancheng, be careful with your words. Don't talk about sir behind his back. Upon hearing Xu Liancheng's words, Tang Zhenyu's expression darkened as he reprimanded Xu Liancheng sternly. Xu Liancheng was also frightened and quickly covered his mouth. He was secretly afraid. After all, grandmasters had spiritual power. If that person sensed that he was talking about him behind his back and got angry, everything the Xu family had done previously would probably be in vain. Upon looking at the other party's expression, Tang Zhenyu felt a little amused. He waved his hand and said, Brother Liancheng, don't think too much about it. Sir won't bicker with us over such a small matter. We can just wait here in peace now. However, Brother Liancheng, you're really lucky. Sir's cooking is superb. When you eat it, you'll think that one million yuan per person is really cheap. Xu Liancheng did not want to speak any more, afraid that he would say something wrong. He simply lowered his head. The old man with white hair and a beard was like a child who had made a mistake. Wang Yi did not make them wait long. After a while, he walked in with two trays covered by plates. They both stopped talking at once and bowed. Sir. However, Wang Yi waved his hand, indicating that there was no need for that. Then, he said, I'm the boss now, and you're the guests. You've already paid for this food, so there's no need to be so polite. Then, Wang Yi placed a tray in front of each person. After that, he smiled and said, try it. Tang Zhenyu had eaten Wang Yi's dishes once and naturally knew how good Wang Yi's culinary skills were. He did not care about the confused Xu Liancheng beside him and directly opened the lunchbox's lid. Instantly, the tray emitted a dazzling light that almost blinded them. Tang Zhenyu subconsciously swallowed his saliva. Then, he heard Wang Yi introduce one of the dishes. This is the Tinglin Extreme Yang. It is made of the most tender meat from a rank 8 beast, the Tinglin Giant Elephant. I use the power of extreme yang as a fire to burn away the violent spiritual energy in the meat and draw out the most essential parts. Then, the extreme yang melted into the steak. It will be tender and hot when you eat it. After saying that, Wang Yi extended his hand and said with a smile, please try it. He really looked like a restaurant owner. Upon hearing this, Tang Zhen Yu did not care if he was rude or not. He was dominated by the hunger and desire that suddenly appeared in his body and wolfed down the food. He no longer had the demeanor of a second in command of Kang City. Xu Liancheng, who had been in a daze, finally reacted and quickly opened the lid of the plate in front of him. The room shone with a strong light again. At the same time, Wang Yi introduced another dish. The five flower porridge is made from five special flowers that contain the spiritual energy of the five elements. The power of the five elements has fused together. As a result, when you eat the soft porridge, you will experience the fragrance of the five special flowers. Please taste it, Xu Liancheng was better off. After thanking Wang Yi, he also wolfed down his food. For a moment, there was only the sound of the two of them eating, as well as the spiritual energy that kept drifting upwards in the hall. As the amount of food on the plate dwindled, both of them underwent drastic changes. Tang Zhenyu's aura was constantly rising and becoming stronger. 
There was also an inexplicable power in his body that was constantly condensing. It was as if the power was about to appear in the real world from another space. When he ate the last mouthful of steak, it was as if he had reached a certain limit and instantly experienced a qualitative change. This is from the Soundstory audiobook YouTube channel. Boom, an extremely intense pressure flashed from Tang Zhenyu's body. It was as if it could destroy the world. The pressure rushed crazily in all directions with Tang Zhenyu in the center. Just as this pressure was about to destroy the newly renovated hall, Wang Yi casually waved his hand and suppressed it. At this moment, Tang Zhenyu suddenly closed his eyes tightly. Then, his ancestral cavity appeared in the space between his eyebrows. Wisps of spiritual power seemed to have broken through the restrictions of space and continuously developed in the void before pouring into his ancestral cavity. As the spiritual power surged in, his ancestral cavity became even more crystalline. Even though the spiritual power did not have a physical form, it had the beauty of flawless jade. In the next moment, the ancestral cavity seemed to be saturated. It flickered a few times and directly disappeared between his eyebrows again. A glint suddenly flashed across the corner of Tang Zhenyu's eyes, and a huge wave surfed in his heart. He had broken through, he actually found that opportunity in addition directly broke through to the Grand Master realm without any obstruction. How terrifying was this? Although Xu Liancheng did not have such luck, he was so shocked that his mouth was agape. Under his clothes, a layer of black dirt that resembled the scab of a wound appeared on his skin. Meanwhile, half of his silver hair had actually turned black. The old man in his 70s or 80s instantly transformed and seemed to be in his 40s or 50s. He looked extremely capable and energetic, no longer looking like he was about to die. It took a long time for the two of them to recover from their shock. They looked at each other and knew that they had struck gold today. The two of them stood up almost at the same time and knelt down towards Wang Yi. They said excitedly, We thank you for your kindness. Even Tang Zhen Yu, who had already broken through to the Grand Master realm and was a Grand Master, was no exception. When Wang Yi saw this, he stretched out his hand. The two of them stopped kneeling in midair and could not continue. Then, Wang Yi's calm voice sounded. I've said it before, I'm the boss, and you're the guests. Since you've paid, you don't have to thank me anymore. However, as guests, you must behave like one. Now that you've had your fill, don't disturb me from my business. For the two of them to have their current status and wealth, they were naturally not stupid. Just as he finished speaking, the two of them had already reacted. After all, this lord had already ordered them to leave. They hurriedly bowed and said, we've troubled you today. We'll take our leave. Seeing that the two of them were so tactful, Wang Yi nodded slightly. Goodbye. After the two of them walked out of the villa, Xu Liancheng said with envy, congratulations. Grandmaster Tang. You have broken through to the highest realm of martial arts today. Although he had no hope of becoming a Grand Master in his life, he was still the patriarch of a wealthy family after all. When the ancestral cavity appeared between Tang Zhenyu's eyebrows, he already knew that Tang Zhenyu would definitely be able to advance to the Grand Master realm. At this moment, Tang Zhenyu could not hide the ecstasy on his face. He could not help but be excited. This was the Grand Master realm. Furthermore, a Grand Master was a powerful existence that could guard a huge city and protect millions of people. Today, he actually broke through so easily. Tang Zhenyu looked at Xu Liancheng and calmed himself down. Then, he said, Brother. Liancheng, you're too polite. You've gained a lot from this trip. If I'm not wrong, brother's current state is probably the legendary marrow cleansing state. Not only won't you fall ill in the future, but your cultivation might also improve and reach an even higher realm. In the future, our families have to be closer. Xu Liancheng also had a look of joy on his face. At the side, he echoed, Grand Master Tang is right. We should visit each other more. Then, they looked at each other and couldn't help but burst out laughing. This trip had really been filled with fear and trepidation. To be honest, the two of them were fated to have such an opportunity, just like what the sign had suggested. This was because Xu Liancheng had suddenly brought 5 billion yuan, allowing for the unexpected upgrade of the system. This made Wang Yi feel very good. It was precisely because he was in a good mood that the two of them had such an opportunity. With Wang Yi's vision, he could naturally tell at a glance what the two of them needed. For example, Tang Zhenyu had already perfected his physical body and true energy. The only thing missing was his spiritual power. Furthermore, at this time, 
Wang Yi went out of the city to buy goods and happened to hunt a rank 8 beast with extremely strong spiritual power, the Tinglin giant elephant. Then, he used the Nine Suns True Chi to refine it and draw out the spiritual power contained in its flesh and blood. He then used that opportunity to help Tang Zhen Yu condense spiritual power and truly step into RANK7, which was the Grand Master Realm. Another example was Xu Liancheng. He was old and weak, and his body was filled with hidden injuries. He did not have many years left to live. Wang Yi used five types of strange flowers with the spiritual energy of the five elements to cleanse Xu Liancheng's body. Although it was impossible for Xu Liancheng to improve his cultivation realm further, it was not a problem for him to live for a few more decades. As for why Wang Yi treated the Xu family like this, it was easy to understand. First, it was the money sent by the other party that allowed Wang Yi to upgrade the system in advance. The other families that had suppressed the Su family had also been beaten up by the Shu family. Next, although the Shu family had suppressed the Su family before, they did not cross that line after all. They simply suppressed the Su family's business without hurting anyone. Moreover, even if the Shu family wasn't around, when faced with an opportunity to curry favor with a Grand Master, even the other families would jump out and target the Su family. All in all, the root cause of everything was Zhao Tianlin. This was still on him. After the two of them left, Wang Yi was not in the mood to continue running the restaurant. He closed the door and returned to his bedroom on the second floor. Then, he went into seclusion to cultivate and waited for the system to update. While Wang Yi was in seclusion, a piece of news that shook the entire Langya County spread instantly. The news spread throughout the hundreds of giant cities in Langya country with the 13 southwest cities in the center. All the higher-ups of the giant cities learned of this news almost at the same time. The Silver-Winged Beast King, one of the three king-leveled beasts under demon Venerable Tiandu, had already escaped from the Heaven-Breaking Peak and joined a human expert called Jinlin Guoshi. The Heaven-Breaking Peak had already issued a demon Venerable Order. A reward was offered to anyone who could capture the Silver-Winged Beast King and the human expert Jinlin Guoshi. Regardless of whether they were human or beast, as long as they were able to bring both of them to the heaven-breaking peak, dead or alive, they could obtain a drop of the demon venerable's blood essence. That was a powerful treasure that could allow a peak rank 8 expert to directly advance to RANK9. This kind of treasure was too tempting. It was enough to make any peak rank 8 beings go crazy. Almost all the experts were on guard. After all, this concerned a conate demon venerable, a rank 9 beast king, and a mysterious human expert suspected to be above RANK9. How could an existence that could subdue the Silver-Winged Beast King be weak? Only those who were stronger than the Silver-Winged Beast King or even much stronger were qualified to talk about subduing it. Thus, everyone was curious. Since when did a human powerhouse like Jinlin Guoshi appear in Langya County? In a magnificent palace in Langya County City, there was a pure white throne made entirely of the fangs of powerful beasts. A figure surrounded by a terrifying aura was sitting upright on the throne. His cold gaze swept across the people below him as a cold voice sounded. Do you know about this? At this moment, there were several people standing below the throne in the hall. All of them were ranked nine grandmasters. Among them, a bewitching man with a powerful aura around him, a body of golden armor, and long golden hair, suddenly walked out. Supremacy, we have already received the news. According to our intelligence, Countless ferocious beasts have gathered near the various giant cities. They are all searching for the silver winged cloud leopard and the so called human powerhouse, Jinlin Guoshi. The terrifying figure on the throne nodded slightly and said again, Everyone, is there anything you want to say? Supremacy, is this a smokescreen used by the beast race to confuse us? Then, they might use the opportunity provided by the bounty to gather the beasts outside the giant city and attack us while we're unguarded. In the crowd, a middle-aged man in a white training suit cupped his fists and spoke in a deep voice. Just as he finished speaking, the bewitching man in the golden armor said again, Lord Ming, this matter shouldn't be fake. I've already gone to the heaven-breaking peak to investigate. According to the scene, the two parties should have experienced an extremely tragic battle. Furthermore, the silver-winged cloud leopard should have been at a disadvantage all along. It didn't even have a chance to fight back. There were also remnants of its broken limbs at the scene. Moreover, the human powerhouse known as Jinlin Guoshi left behind traces on the summit. According to my judgment, the other party's strength is at least at the peak realm. Hiss. A series of gasps filled the grand hall. The peak realm, 
an expert at the peak realm was a terrifying existence that had experienced a qualitative change and was one step closer to the Konate Fala. Although the people present were all Grand Masters, they were much weaker than those beings. For the first time, the terrifying figure on the throne felt his emotions fluctuate. He raised his eyebrows and asked curiously, are you sure that those are traces left behind by a peak realm Grand Master? Upon hearing this, the bewitching man in the golden armor immediately bowed and said, Supremacy, I can confirm that it's impossible for anyone below the peak realm to do that. The terrifying figure stood up from his throne and instructed indifferently, find Jinlin Guoshi and ask him if he's willing to join Langyu County. What Mr. Ming said makes sense. As for the siege of the beasts, send some experts down just in case. If the beasts dare to act rashly, just kill them. Langyu County is not afraid of a battle. With that, the terrifying figure instantly disappeared from the throne as if they had never been there. Only the rank 9 Grand Masters below the throne were left. In the end, they could only helplessly bow to the empty throne and say in unison, we accept your orders. This is from the Soundstory Audiobook YouTube channel. The supremacy was good in every way, but he was too warlike. When he had the chance, he wanted to fight the beasts. Then, the few rank 9 Grand Masters also disappeared from the hall. The hall that was previously filled with terrifying pressure just now was now empty. In the bedroom on the second floor of Wang Yi's villa, Wang Yi sat cross-legged. As he circulated his cultivation technique, time continued to pass. Then, the countdown for the system upgrade turned into a bright red, zero. The mechanical voice of the system sounded again. Ding. System upgrade successful. New function added directional sign in. Ding. System is now at the intermediate level. Upgrading to the advanced level requires 1 million conate crystals. At the same time as the system notification sounded, Wang Yi's aura instantly became violent. Crack, crack, with two crisp sounds as if he had broken through some kind of barrier, the Nine Suns Divine Art and the Little Leaf Flying Dagger technique directly broke through to level ill. Wang Yi suddenly woke up from his cultivation. A glint flashed across his eyes, but he looked pleasantly surprised. He had broken through. Unexpectedly, when the system was upgraded, the two cultivation techniques also broke through. However, at the next moment, the surprise on Wang Yi's face turned into shock. He simply cursed loudly in his heart. Didn't the system upgrade require Chinese Yuan? What the hell was a conate crystal? Wang Yi knew that the system was up to no good. He was still thinking of selling more things and directly raising the system to the maximum level. He did not expect the system to be so scheming as to directly change the upgrade conditions to a million conate crystals. What the hell, how would Wang Yi know what a conate crystal was? However, other than cursing the system in his heart for being shameless, there was nothing else he could do. After all, the system was the boss. Since he didn't know what the conate crystal was, Wang Yi couldn't be bothered to think about it. Judging from the name, it was related to the conate realm. He would wait until he broke through to the conate realm. All he had to do now was study the new function of the system. Upon thinking of this, Wang Yi asked in his heart, System, what's with the directional sign in function? Using the directional sign in function, the host can use one sign in opportunity to sign in for specific items. According to the value of the specified item, there will be different success rates. The highest success rate is 100%, and the lowest failure rate is 0.01%. Wait till next part.